Ladies and gentlemen, programs and users, welcome. I'm Cascade Overload. This is The Grid. Happy Monday, everyone. How's everybody uh, doing? How is everyone's weekend chat? I'm just adjusting light here. We are about to embark on an extraordinary journey courtesy of Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Today is going to be the first leg of our world tour we're doing around the world in 84 streams because that's exactly how long it's going to take. For those of you who don't know, if you go to the Discord and look under Flight Sims, um, you're going to actually uh, find that I've already posted the Sky Vector flight plan and aeronautical chart for it. And it's going to be shenanigans. Let's just put it that way. That's, that's all I can say about it. It is 100% going to be shenanigans. By the way, if you want to uh, follow along, that's the flight plan there. Boom. Flight plan is now available for everyone. So yeah, you guys can uh, follow along and check the flight plan. So how is everyone? How did everyone, how was everyone's weekend? That's the real, that's the real key. How was everyone's weekend? Let's balance that audio out a little bit. There we go. That's better. Audi, how are you? By the way, um, I, I apparently missed uh, your sister's birthday. So make sure you wish her a happy birthday from, from, uh, from Twitch dad. doing well good glad to hear it um you know what we're gonna we're gonna this is what we're gonna do hold on let me uh let me get a couple of things going here so um to make it nice and simple first and foremost just gonna switch over to the in game uh we're going to have a couple of items running in the background one of them is i'm gonna have a streaming map going you're just gonna be fun thing, man. skipple thank you so what much the for the four month resub how are you doing what's up we are going to start on the very first leg of our round the world in 84 streams trust me i did the math <laughs> it's going to take 84 streams to complete this entire world tour um so i've got some overlay stuff already set up which is going to be very nice very nice indeed once we get into the thing let's check the live map see what we're dealing with here okay okay looks like we got some uh you know crap ass weather going on it's looking kind of craptacular i like it i like it good to know <laughs> Like I said, it's uh, it's gonna be shenanigans. Uh, let's get these. Uh, we have our car back after a few days. Ah, uh, what was wrong with the car? What was wrong with the car, Audi? All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's set up a new command here. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on. Boom, done. All right. So, just so you know, Audi, um, there's a new command, exclamation plan. <laughs> Apparently had a bad battery, so it refused to start a few times. Ooh, that's no bueno. That is no bueno. So for those of you who come in and are possibly curious, there's that's the actual link to the flight plan that um, I've set up to do this uh, <clears throat> circumnavigation of the entire globe in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Like I said, it's going to be shenanigans. 
I'm really, really looking forward to this. It's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be massive and extensive, and I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, many beverages will be consumed by the uh, passengers of the flight. Um, just so you guys know, we will be flying in the Beechcraft Baron G36, or sorry, the Bonanza G36. Um, so I'm doing this with GA. I had initially planned to do it with the Cessna 172, but the problem is um, lack of certain de-icing systems for certain legs of the flight. So rather than run into any complications while we were trying to do this, I settled for the Bonanza just because it does have a longer flight range, um, a, a better overall top speed, plus it has um, adequate enough We've got adequate enough de-icing systems built into the aircraft to prevent us from uh, icing up and nosediving into the northern Atlantic because I'm really not a big fan of dumping this thing into the freaking water, okay? It's, it's not part of the plan. We are not dumping this bird in the water, okay? It's not happening. <laughs> so I hope everyone is just as excited for this as I am. So our takeoff point is CYTZ. We're starting at uh, Toronto Billy Bishop, Toronto City Airport. Uh, and this is also going to be our end point. If I actually zoom in, I don't know if it'll sh it should show the entire flight plan. It's kind of convoluted just because of how Sky Vector works with this. But so this is our start point here. So we're starting, we're going to run our leg up to Frobisher Bay. And then we're gonna do a uh, hop across. We're gonna hop across to uh, Greenland, other side of Greenland, Greenland, which is uh, Kolosk. Uh, Kolosk. I'm probably freaking butchering that, but you know. Uh, then we're gonna go to uh, Keflavik, Faroe Islands. We're gonna stop in uh, Sorvag. And then, as you can see, so we're we're doing this entire island hop across the northern Atlantic, northern Atlantic, down across through the UK. So we're gonna be coming down in London Heathrow. From there, we're gonna jump into Germany. Um, now this one here, let me zoom in just a little bit and see if it'll pick it up. No. So you can see the dots are the main international airports. I'm trying to stick with some regional stuff too so we can get some scenery along the way. Uh, the next main will be uh, Vodi, which is uh, <clears throat> gonna be fun. And then uh, S uh, International. We're gonna jump, we're gonna be jumping down across, uh, as you can see, or wait, where did my route go? Oh my God. Completely nerfed the route as we're coming across. So here's the, so we're gonna into Moscow, then Kiev, uh, Chisinau, Budapest, right? Rome, and then, you know, we're gonna be uh, uh, Casablanca. This is Gibraltar here. So I've tried to cover as many variables as I can. Then we're gonna come down the Western coast of Africa down around the southern tip through, uh, you know, Cape Town, and then back up through, uh, back up along the eastern edge of Africa here. And then we're gonna cross through the Middle East where we'll, uh, you know, come across for a stop in Istanbul. And then we're gonna be flying across um, northern, uh, I guess, it's hard to say, it's like Southern Russia, Northern Asia. <laughs> Right, because you've got Navoy, but then you, um, you know, you jump into Alma and uh, Urum, uh, Urum Ki, which I do believe is Mongolia. And then we come down in a lo uh, down through, you know, jump across through the South Pacific. I love the fact that it's not refreshing. I, I love that I have to do this to get it to refresh. <laughs> down, our, so we're gonna jump down through here. You know, down across through Singapore and Bali. And then we're going to get a couple of spots down through here, through um, down around Melbourne. So we're jumping across into Australia, then back up. Yeah, 55,645.4 nautical miles estimated 
estimated time is 508.48 hours. <laughs> and I did the math. It's going to take approximately 84 streams to complete this. Approximately 84 streams to do this entire global tour. Listen, I wanted to do something big. I wanted to be, I wanted this to be massive. Uh, pretty much Audi. Yep. Pretty much. This is a start to finish run. Here's the thing. If somebody can do it real life, why aren't we doing this in the sim? Now the flight plan I filed is slightly different. There are some variations to it. But yes, this is pretty much all going to be... Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm fully tracking this. Are you kidding me? 100% fully tracking where we're going because I don't want to be like, uh, where did we leave off? No, none of that. We are not doing that. No way, no how. Not happening. But yeah, so... Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? All right, I'm going to throw that up there for a moment. <laughs> Oh, we get uh, flight sim run in here. So barring any technical difficulties or anything, we should be fine. Um, I will, if there's anything major that comes up like game wise that is brought to my attention, say through um, like I happen to receive a key to do some content around or say Wyoming releases for American truck or 1.41 goes live. I will be sure to take a bit of a break from the flight and then we will jump into that as well. So don't worry, there are contingency plans. I will try to break it up a little bit. Um, some of the monot there will be some monotonous stuff. So some of the stuff over the North Atlantic, um, there are certain legs I will try to fly like I will set it and fly it off stream. So like the large expanse over open water kind of thing, you know, stuff like that. I will try to do off stream if possible, but I will, you know, hopefully try to keep track of that for everyone. I have a notepad down so I can jot down the ICAO of where we left off, things like that. So don't worry. Planning actually went into this. This wasn't one of those, hey, I'm just going to do this, created a flight plane and went, no, 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 no. No, that's not how this went. Actual planning went into this. Actual planning. <laughs> Hours of actual planning went into this. Yeah, I know the the, the uh, TVL. So TVL, what do you think of the flight plan, bud? You think it's a little ambitious? But there you go. So we've got plan. Oh, speaking of which, before we get into this, hold on. I've got another streaming tool here that I'm going to enable. Um, where? East. It's the overlay map. Okay. Um, boop, 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 boop. Aha. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, hold on. I gotta do a thing. There we go, SCK bot, Twitch bot has joined. There we go, okay, nice. All right, so with this. <laughs> you should now also have no current active flight plan. So currently no active flight plan, okay. Um. I do believe this is it. Yep. No ICAO. Okay. 
There we go. So those are actually com and hold on. Let's let's double check. Make sure. Yep. And all right. So those commands are now officially active. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that isn't that just a thing of beauty? Microsoft Flight Sim Connect MSFS. There we go. Okay, we're in. We are in. In like Flynn, baby. All right, so our departure. CYTZ. Oh, why is that? No, that's supposed to be CY, not TZ. Thank you. There we go. Billy Bishop. Beechcraft Bonanza. All right, let's uh, double check what we got here. Let's go weight and balance. We're filling the tanks, baby. We're filling the damn tanks on this aircraft. 100% <laughs> filling those tanks. Okay, let's bring that up really quick here. So, our first leg. Is CR CRT2. There we go, Rivier Temescami. Boom, done. Sister, happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday. Hope you had a good time. Hope it was a good day for you. All right, so. That is our first official hop chat right there. Boom, done. So who's ready to fly? See now, okay. <clears throat> Something I haven't been able to figure out. Maybe somebody can help me with this. How in the actual living heck would I put the entire flight plan into Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Um, that is actually something I already checked, and yes, all the airports are in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Ooh, you got the complete game for the Switch. Very nice. Yes, very nice. Um, so let's actually, yeah, we're going to take, we're just going to take off from runway 26. Um, let's check our liveries. Do we have anything else? So you know what? We're just going to take the standard. We're going to take the default. With all DLCs and expansions. Ooh, very nice. Yes, nice. I guess it would help if I actually plugged in the controls, huh? <laughs> okay, that's working. Oh, feet, feet in the stirrups. Pilot better get himself uh, positioned and comfortable, huh? All right, here we go. We ready? For, are, are we ready for this? I don't know if you guys are ready for this or not. I mean, let me make sure my microphone's not like I'm not breathing into it.
There we go. You guys can hear me clearly? Yeah? No? Maybe? So? Yeah, no, maybe so. Also got a Marvel game, uh, Marvel game for my Switch. Got two more extensions to House Flipper and a new phone case. It was a good birthday. Ooh. Wasabi is spicy, but it's so good. Wasabi is so good. No joke. Wasabi is the best. But you got to be careful about that stuff because that stuff, whoo. You can, uh, you can, you can hurt yourself with that. <laughs> Wasabi is really good stuff. If you need guidance to control, yeah, we're not freezing the aircraft here, bro. That's not happening. Not happening. Not today. Not today, champ. Not today. All right. I'm hoping these overlays work. We'll find out in a moment if they do or not. If they don't, then before we take off, I will have to make some adjustments because I really, yeah, I bet she was on fire after the wasabi. Just remember, black coffee actually helps clear, uh, cleanse the palate better than milk and definitely do not use water because water just makes it spread. <laughs> I nearly seared off Audi's eyebrows. Oh my. Oh my indeed. Oh, I use cola. Yeah, um, yeah, that's because of the acids in uh, the citric acid in cola. It does actually work pretty well. Toronto Island traffic. Big Daddy One Seven taking off runway two six north departure. All right, there we go. Two six north departure. Chat. Okay, so I am not seeing... Ooh, the weather in Toronto is nice, though. All right, so here's the problem I'm running into already. Uh, I am not currently seeing the... Uh, <clears throat> I do not currently see our overlay. So give me a second here. Give me a moment. We need that overlay functioning. That overlay has to be working. If it's not working, bro. Okay. Copy. Browser. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're we're making an adjustment here, chat. We're making an adjustment. Just chillax, don't worry. Okay, so that is now officially working. Um, let's make a slight adjustment here. Uh, no, excuse me, sir. And I think I want this about the middle of the screen. That look good for everyone? Okay, let's, uh, before I do that, so we gotta get this sized a little bit better. There we go. At the middle of the screen. You guys can see that? Can everybody see that chat? Awesome, all right, next. I've got to ma add the map overlay. Um, Uh, 
Let's do alternative. Let's do the default. Okay. Hopefully that's correct. And now let's add another browser source. All right, let's shrink that down a little bit because I don't think you guys want that like mahusive on the screen and we'll drop that down into the bottom corner here. Is that visible or do you want it bigger? Chat. little bit bigger all right how's that is that is that good does that work for everyone looks good awesome perfect I'm just gonna pop that up so it's on the same level as okay there we go Boom, done. Okay, perfect. Identify yourself. The Iron 24, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And run. I am not running anywhere nuts life. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. We're not running anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard flight 117. We are currently first in line for takeoff and are expected to be in the air in approximately four minutes. We ask you that you please fasten your seatbelts at this time and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in the overhead compartments. We also ask that you take your seats. We also ask that your seats and table trays are in the upright position for takeoff. Please turn off all personal electronic devices, including laptops and cell phones. Smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for choosing. Wait for it. The Grid Airlines. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> I had to, guys. I had to. All right. Let's do this. Let's go. Uh, you need to be over here, sir. All right. By the way, this aircraft is super qu uh, super quiet, so we don't have to worry about too much. Nice parking brake. Ooh, she's a little breezy though. All right, let's um. I want to make sure that my trim doesn't do dumb things. There we go. All right, 0% trim. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's perfect. It's perfect. That's all we needed. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Is it electric? You'd think so. You One would almost think it is, but no. Ooh. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. Why are we not taking off? Woo! That made me feel uncomfortable. Flaps. All right, everything's locked. We're good. Approach big 
Daddy 17 is Type Beechcraft, be 36, 2 miles west of Toronto Island, 700 feet. Ooh, the frame rate is a little chonky. It's Calder. <laughs> Big Daddy 17 radar contact two miles west of Toronto Island, 1,400 feet. All right, there we go. Charlie Airspace. Maintain on navigation. And we're airborne. Leg number one, let's go, baby. Yeah, um, as soon as I, I've been messing around with, um, with Sim Toolkit Pro. Uh, over the weekend uh, The only disappointing thing was my f I couldn't import my flight plan Because I used sky vector to do the flight plan and there was no way to actually import the flight plan via sky vector so Minor little thing it they're working on better overall usability of uh, of the uh, VFR uh, Flight planning module so it's like okay, you know, oh, she's a little choppy up here by the way Woo -hoo -hoo. Chonky chonky. Let's drop RPM can prop control down to about um I want about not 89, yeah. And mixture, we're gonna drop down to about 84. Alright, that balanced out our RPMs, so we're good there. I figured having like an overlay showing all that information and everything is probably for the best, especially considering that we're we're planning on doing circumnavigation of the entire world of Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, right? So it was like, yeah, okay, you know what? We're gonna that's how we're gonna do this. Okay, so. Val East. Uh, we're gonna throw this on. We're gonna get to about 3,000. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this down around 2,500. We're gonna try to stay out of the low level cloud right now. Get to, I'll get to that in a second here. We might not actually be able to stay clear of the low level cloud, but. I'll do what I can. I'll do my best. Weather down this way isn't so bad. But we definitely have a lot of... A lot of low-level cloud here. Because we're only at about uh, 2,600 feet, right? So... Alright, so we're going to set... Altitude. I do not want to be above 2600. Thank you. Heading and engage autopilot. Uh, excuse me, where where are we going? No, 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 no. Negative, negative. I'm like, yo, where are we headed here? Autopilot's like, bro. You didn't set me. Um. Did it look like I overstressed the aircraft to you guys? Did did that look like punk ass Decepticon? Did it look like I was doing anything that overstressed the aircraft? Can somebody explain to me? This moment, Nathan knew. <laughs> Thanks, Yep. He fucked up. Thanks. Landing recorded. <laughs> no guesses, no winners. <laughs> wiener, wiener, chicken diner. Oh my god. Okay, that did not take. That did not work out nearly as well as I had hoped it would. Yeah, exactly. Right. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not doing anything super drastic here or anything. I mean, this is not an aircraft we are unfamiliar with. We've done some flying in this already, and it was solid. 
with the exception of the night landing was that night landing was a little rough tom thank you so much for the host appreciate it tom how are you hope you had a good weekend how did the move go man how did the move go okay wow the weather's looking even more crap what the what Okay. Why did the aircraft shut itself off? Oil pressure? TVL, thanks so much to the host. Uh, excuse me? What the actual F is happening here? <laughs> Wait, did it empty my tanks? Tanks are full. Am I? I'm going to have to restart this. Okay, so something with the aircraft is apparently bugged. <laughs> Let's try restarting. That's fun. That That's, that's, that's fantastic. I love it. That's, that's great. Top notch, guys. Top notch. Toronto Island traffic. Big Daddy 17 taking off runway 26 departure to the north. All right, so I'm going to have to refile this. So for whatever reason. Okay, so I'm going to end this. Just bear with me here. Apparently the aircraft is being a little buggy. When it shouldn't be. Like everything's set where it's supposed to be for us to be able to take off. So let's do this. We're going to reset this. Uh, let me check failures, make sure. Okay. Yeah, like so, it shouldn't be doing that. Wait and balance. Liveries, aircraft selection, we're done. Okay. CYTZ. This is, um, I do believe it is CTR2. Oh, no. Dirt. Or is it CRT2? CRT2. There we go. Okay. All right. So apparently the Beechcraft's going to be a little bit of a snippy bitch, but I digress. I digress, chat. We'll get this figured out. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. It's going to be fantastic. will be phenomenal I have faith I have faith we're gonna get this thing in the this bird in the air um the one thing I'm wondering is if it has something to do I added an improve um an improvement mod but first night I forgot my pillow and my cover and had to sleep on my book bag oof so question Tom why did they have to move you guys though like why did you guys have to move what is that? Is that the dog dad shirt? Toronto Island traffic. Big Daddy 17 taking off runway 26 departure to the north. She's not wrong. I'm all right with that, though. Okay, so what the actual F is happening here? Get on. 
One second, hold on, hold on. I gotta try something on apparently. All right, so. No, I'm not gonna, listen, I just got my, my dog dad shirt, okay? See, see? Dog dad. And no, I wasn't gonna. <laughs> Former husband who lived in the room I moved into as a troublemaker and would call the cops after he started shit. So they wouldn't renew our lease after I had a fight with my new housemate. I only found out about him after the fight. Oh, fun. She might be, but we've got to figure out what the problem is. Why this thing's not. Why is this not actually? All right, you know what? Let's turn all everything off. I'm going to turn everything off. No, no, no. We're going to turn that to off. Okay. So why is this aircraft all of a sudden doing dumb stuff? Like, I don't want to have to... Um... Like, that's the thing. I don't want to have to freaking reset start Microsoft Flight Sim. So that's going to be a royal pain in the backside. You know what I mean? Battery one, battery two. Okay, I want to turn pedo heat on. Magneto right, Magneto left. Okay, so the aircraft doesn't want to actually start now. So this means what I'm, is this a mod? No, this is the Beechcraft. Now, the only thing I can think of The only thing I can actually think of is that it has something to do... Oh, okay, that aircraft is way too large to be taken off the freaking runway here. Is that something with the... Um, oh, it's the Garmin G1000 mod. That's why I got rid of it the first freaking time. It used to screw up with my freaking... Okay, so... I'm going to exit out. I'm going to remove this. Because the Garmin G1000 and G3000, it checked the fuel cutoff. But why if I just set it up, why would the fuel cutoff be shut off? You know what I mean? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to remove that G1000. I'm going to remove... I There was a reason I, I got rid of it the first time. And now I remember why. So. Let's go through here. And. All right. Remove. Remove. And remove. Done. Okay. 
Restart. Well, no, because there, so many people use them and they've had no problem with them. Every time I've tried to use it, I have nothing but issues with the uh, with the G uh, the G one thousand and G three thousand mod for the Garmin screens. Causes nothing but headaches. When all I want to do is fly, I just want to do this. I just want to get this flight done. I want to do the thing. Let's go. Uh, flightsim.to. It's called the Microsoft Community uh, Community Software Downloader. Yeah, it's called the Microsoft Community Software Downloader. I got it from flightsim.to. It's very handy. Trust me. <laughs> I just I just installed that last night. Flightsim.to. Uh, with no E on SIM. <laughs> we're going to get this bird off the ground. I swear to God. I swear to God we're getting this bird off the ground. I'm glad to see that the uh, the bot is working though, and that the overlay elements up at the very top and off to the side there for the map are working as well. Once we're airborne, you'll notice it, but we have to wait. <laughs> While it goes through all of this again, even though it was already loaded. idea what my youngest daughter is doing I really don't have no idea no clue what she's doing she's on about something I don't know what she's on about but it's really freaking me out bro it's freaking me out guys I swear to god all right I would very much just like to get the plane in the air I'd very much like to get this underway it would be very nice to just So yeah, I think I'm going to avoid using any of the GPS mods for now. Um, they're not really mods, they're just improvements, but barrier head and as long as police and ambulance show up, all is well. <laughs> wow. You mean don't show up as long as police and ambulance do not. Thank you. Thank you for correcting yourself, Ma. I was like, wait a minute, what? Please, God, no. We're taking off. We are getting this first leg done because this is some horseshit. <laughs> Can't believe the sim. Everything is in place. Everything has been planned. And then the sim's like, nah, fam. Nope. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. You're, you're not you're not allowed to do this. You're just, nope. <laughs> She's like, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Oh, hell no. That's exactly what just happened. All right. Let's do this one more time, shall we? Beachcraft Bonanza G36. Departure. We're not going to Buttonville. There we go. Vivier Tamaskami. There we go. Let's go. Okay. We're good? Yep. Yeah. Now, let's just verify our weight and balance. Fill in those damn tanks. Customization. Yep. You know what? We're going to change this out from Big Daddy, though. Excuse me? That's right. You want to stay like that. Digit. Oh, crap on a cracker.
Really? Siri? Seriously? There we go. Okay, now we're good. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Okay. Um, while we're here, let's check this. Let's check the overlay map. I don't know how that's going to end up looking, but I hope it looks all right. Listen, if I could cross something else, I would, okay? But never cross streams. Bad things happen to those who try to cross streams, okay? Remember that. Just like Ghostbusters, never cross the streams. Um, just so everyone is aware, by the way, you guys already saw that I got some stuff from Displate last week, uh, shipped to me. Just so you guys are aware. Yeah, exactly. Don't, never, never cross swords. Don't, don't cross swords. Okay, we're good. I feel like we're good. We're, why is it so chonky, though? Wow, that was laggy. All right, before we take off, let's... Trim this out to zero. Okay. When I wait five minutes, the first thing I hear is never cross streams. Exactly, come on. Release parking brake. Come on. Come on, Icy. Ghostbusters never cross streams. You of all people should know this. Um, the sim gave us some bullshit. Uh, apparently, we overstressed the airframe with autopilot set as I was adjusting heading, and we were barely at a 10% uh, bank with the uh, Bonanza. Woo! That does not leave me feeling comfortable. Yeah, no kidding. And then um, after that, it wouldn't actually allow me to start like start the aircraft. I tried to restart, it wouldn't start. It would just say oil pressure, oil pressure, oil pressure. Turns out it's the, um, there's a, a mod for the Garmin 1000, G1000 and G3000. And every time I've tried to use it. Approach Flint 17 is type Beechcraft, B36, two miles west of okay, Toronto can you Island, just, 700 feet. Request it always, to always, to always Fs everything up for me. Alright, we're good. You guys see the map? Everything's uh, showing up on the screen all right for you? You guys can see the overlay that we've added? Yeah, it was it was dumb, man. It was so dumb and I was very annoyed. There. Does that sound better? I I changed so it doesn't say Big Daddy. We changed it. So yeah, there's gonna be some uh, some minor changes coming. Now the things are starting to fall into place. Remember, I've been talking for a while about a rebrand. I'm taking a nap all the way in the back of the cabin. That might not be a great idea right now, Ma. You might want to wait until we actually get to where we're supposed to be. Okay, you, you might want to wait. Let, let's just see what happens here first. Okay. Uh, 
let's see if we can trim this out a little bit. See if about 5% is going to do it. Alright, that's still working perfect. Beautiful. Okay, maybe 5% might be a little aggressive. Trim that out to about 4. Uh, 3 might be a little too... Might, yeah, I think 4 is about where we want. I'm flying ahead on the route. The plane is bouncing in constant right bank say, uh, to stay on course. Oof. Rebrand is almost complete. Yes. Um, there's a little bit of a twist. I was planning on using my uh, my actual given name. Uh, I looked into that. It might not actually be a, a good idea because my, my personal name doesn't really flow well. But I came up with an alternative. And it works with the, it already works with what's existing. So there's only very minor changes that come along with a channel, uh, channel name change. But that being said is visually, there's very little that has to change. So that's the beautiful part. Um, TVL, thank you for that information. Appreciate you. All right. Let's see if we can, um, uh Okay, so let's go. I want to make sure our heading is set correctly. Actually, let's let's get this set up here. Let's get this set up here. I think I want this to be at three, eight degrees. No, three, nine. Okay. Set so altitude. Autopilot. All right, let's see what happens here, guys. What the actual hell? Whoa, 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 no. Why is it? Okay. So that doesn't want to do that. Lone Dre, thank you so much for the five bittos. Appreciate it. Oh, what the actual F? Turn an altitude mode off. That is stupid. No, I don't want to decrease. I want to increase, please. All right, let's turn altitude mode on. Set for 2,500. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, no, actually, uh, I fly way better than I drive. <laughs> We've already proven that on numerous occasions. I fly way better than I drive. 100% can't confirm. All right, so we've got altitude set for 2,500. Only one thing you have to avoid in a plane. Yeah, the ground. 
Jackass. Lone Drake, how you doing, man? How are you doing, bro? It's been a hot second. Hope you're well. Okay, so far so good. Good another day in paradise. Hey, listen. That's all that matters, right? Okay, one quick second. It's an audio thing. Communication output. Warning sounds in external view. Yeah, sure. Active spatial sound is off. Azure. All right, let's let's use Azure, okay. Mute audio and background off. All right, so master voices, yeah. Aircraft engines, aircraft miscellaneous, cockpit warnings, yes, other aircraft. Drop that down a little bit, environment, user interface. Music is off. Um, aircraft engines at 50, that sounds about right. Fly and save. There we go. Okay, resume. That's 50% engines? Good lord. That's effing loud, bro. Alright, there we go. We are on our way. The first official leg. <laughs> Of our global circumna our circumnavigation of the entire world in 84 streams. I'm sure at some point somebody's going to be like, F this shit, this is boring as hell. But anyways, the, uh, the first little bit, the first little hop is probably going to be the most boring. As we're flying over, um, you know... Eastern Ontario into uh, Northern Quebec. By the way, if you were wondering, we've got some new commands going right now. Just so you guys are aware. Here we go. Uh, what do you mean no current active flight plan? Hey, I love endurance like this. Jastrup, hello, how are you? Okay, so apparently oh because i don't have it all right all right i get it i get it i get it i get it now i get it now what if we do light colored will that work Whew. that's a lot of information there damn chonky Yeah, I figured I've never done anything like this, and I know that, you know, there's probably somebody out there who's done this. But the one thing I discovered is I don't think anybody's done this in a G in like something like a Beechcraft, like the Bananas G36 or something like that. And streamed it. You know what I mean? So I was like, yo, let's do this. Let's get you to go. Jastrop, how are you doing? Um, so does it... Currently no active flight plan. So that means that I would actually have to have the flight plan set up. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. I would actually have to actively set the flight plan up. Okay, I'll remember that for next time. I will remember that for next time. The only downside is, though, is... It only links with SimBrief, and I'm not paying for SimBrief. F that crap. And the VFR planner is in alpha, so it's got very basic functionality. Um, and for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm actually currently talking about uh, Sim Toolkit Pro. Hey! Why does it... I am so confused over why it's showing that. I have no idea. Why? But the beautiful thing is, if you look up above, at least we have some overlay stuff. Eh, 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 right there. 
at the very top of the screen and then whoop off to that side we've got the map showing uh showing you know where we're headed kind of thing on the map now if you want me to zoom in on the map or zoom out a little bit more just let me know Oh, who started the arena? Oh, gold. Of course, Golden Girl did. Golden Girl, I hope you had a good weekend. Funny little thing. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to share this with you guys because I find it kind of hilarious. Funny little thing that has uh, that that recently happened is I use a service called Athenoscope. Now, the problem with Athenoscope is pretty much everything that everything they do is they create highlights from your Twitch stream and then the service waits for 24 hours before you can before you can publish them according to your affiliate or partner contract with Twitch. But it only works for shooters. Every time I play Microsoft Flight Sim, it creates highlights and clips because <laughs> it thinks it's modern warfare. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I think your detection service is kind of broken. <laughs> All right, so we are we are officially on the first leg of the trip, though. Uh, what do we got going on here? What do we have going on here? The RPM is pretty steady. Oil temperature, oil pressure, good. Um, you know what? While we're up, we don't need floodlight. We don't need. We can turn landing lights off. Uh, we'll leave that as it is. Avionics. Uh, we'll throw pedo heat on. Lights. Okay, nav. Yep. All right, we're good there. All right, that seems pretty good. Laps up, yep. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can adjust this to... I mean, we're on track pretty well right now. Tom coming in with the almost 100 hours, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, there is a... She's uh, she's definitely breezy up here, guys. Throw that to about 40, uh, 41, 041. Yeah, it looks like... I'm gonna have to keep it on the yeah. Is she's gonna be chonky? This thing's we're we're blowing all over the damn place here. Okay, so apparently someone's champing at the bit. So okay, wait. Hey, Drejan, how you, you doing, guys bud? Are really us. Uh, let's. What number are we thinking of? Increase the altitude 69. to three thousand feet. Three thousand. Flight one seven yard, leaving my airspace radar service. Terminated. Clock one two zero zero. Frequency change approved. Clock one two zero zero. Frequency change approved. All right, there we go. Got a hella delay. If you've got hella delay, that's Toronto that'll Center, be something on your end, though. Type Beechcraft, be thirty six five miles north of Charlie Yankee Uniform, India, two thousand two hundred feet. Flight following. Flight one seven Toronto Center. Okay. I'll turn that off. Squawk four five five three. Flight one seven. Why is that not working for me? Roger, Flynn. One seven. 
increased vertical speed. All right, we're supposed to be at 20. I should be at 2,500, but we dropped 3,500. No, I want 3,000. Alright, so what am I missing here? Iron 24. Um I'm I've actually got a flight plan exclamation plan. Was that from How High or Jay and Silent Bob? I have no idea, Tom. No, that was, uh, no, the 69 is actually from, um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So yeah, exclamation plan will provide the actual link. Oh, dad coming in with the win. Feels so good. It doesn't matter what you think. That's right. Dad wins the first. Boom, done. Um, but yeah, um, so Iron 24. Uh, I do actually have a flight plan mapped out for the circumnavigation. Uh, exclamation plan will provide uh, a link to the actual flight plan that I uh, set up over the weekend that I that I set up to do this entire circumnavigation. Thanks, Steve. All right, so this thing seems to be rock steady at 2200, and I'm not exactly sure why. So I'm going to take the stick here for a moment. Why is it only... Okay, um, I don't want 4,300. That's way too much. So let's go 3,400. Okay. Why is it not? Seriously? Seriously? The freaking plane's like, nah, fam. Nope. Nope. Um, yeah, that's a negative on that. Uh, whatever you plan on doing, you can go F yourself, fam. Nope. So here we go. The glorious Beechcraft Bonanza G36. This is the plane that I decided I was originally going to do this with the uh, to change alt with AP set V speed. Ah, okay, so I need to set the V speed. Thanks. I've completely forgot about that, T Vale. Listen, I'm not a real world pilot, okay? Hell, I don't even pretend to be a real world pilot. Uh, where, oh, where do I set the V speed? Select a course to the left, barometric pressure. Increase, increase vertical speed. What the hell? In the AP can so I'm I'm clicking on it, but it ain't doing shit. Alt knob is beneath the AP controls. Yeah, so there's yeah, I already know about this, right? So I'm I'm very familiar. I've I've already gotten very well versed at this.
I am clicking. Oh, I have to click. Oh, actually, I have to click VS vertical speed mode on. There we go. Thank you. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Noob. Uh, yeah, let's set that up to. Yeah, that works. That works. Actually, let's decrease down to 3,000. I want, I just, 3,000 is a nice, you can still see some stuff. You're not too high up. How's her frame rate doing? Eh, she suffered a little bit, but it's all right. Thank you, TV. I'll appreciate you, man. <laughs> And we'll set that so okay, that's pretty a pretty respectable climb. It's not too not too heavy. It's not too chonky on things. She's definitely breezy. The weather's not bad though. I was expecting the weather to be way worse for, for the start of this. Weather is way better than I was expecting. Actually, you know what? Let's. All right, let's uh, change our heading back to four zero. Zero four zero. We're probably gonna have to come wide. It gets a bit worse the farther from Toronto. Yeah, I can imagine. Shy, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. What's happening? This is we're on our first leg while of circumnavigating the entire globe in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. This is stream one of 84 that it's going to take to do this around the world in any 84 streams. That's what's happening. Um, exclamation plan, if you want to check out the flight plan that I set up through Sky Vector. Will there be a stop in Singapore? Actually, there is. Singapore is on the flight plan. So, yes, Shy, we are landing in Singapore. <laughs> Can confirm. All right, we're good. Yep. All right, we're good. We're up to where dad wanted to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, listen, Shy, you're, you're putting all of us up and uh, feeding us, right? Right, bro? Shy, right? You're, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feed all of us? Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. First, I'd like to welcome everyone on Flynn Flight 117. We are currently cruising at an altitude of 3,000 feet and at an airspeed. That's actually something I don't even know. What the hell airspeed are we traveling? I'm like, damn it, I don't even know the airspeed we're at right now. Whoops. Shh. Listen, don't, don't at me, fam. There we go. Right in front of me, right in front of my goddamn face. I'm an idiot. We're cruising at an airspeed of 169 miles per hour. The time is 12.33 p.m. The cabin crew will be coming around in about 20 minutes to offer you a light snack and beverage and the in-flight movie will begin shortly after that. I'll talk to you again before we reach our destination. Until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight. No, I didn't start in Seattle. I started in CYTZ, which is Billy Bishop Airport, Toronto. 
It's the way that it does the map. So the start point and the finish point are the same. CYTZ, Billy Bishop. At this really nice spot at the airport itself, actually. Damn, that is so sad, man. It's just the way it does the weird cutoff as you're coming across. Here's a fun fact. Our international airport doesn't actually take GA aircraft. They instead go to Celatar, which is just like a minute to the right. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. I still i am coming into the international, though, because F that crap. <laughs> There's a... Listen, I'm flying into Heathrow with this bitch, okay? All right? I'm bringing all of you along. I got passengers on board. I need services, so... Pff, regional ain't doing shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have passengers. They require an experience. I'm providing said experience, and y'all gonna give me the damn services I require. God damn it. Damn it, Billy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, I'm not looking through my head anymore. That's cool. That's actually kind of spacious looking. I'm not gonna lie. That actually looks really nice. Nice. Uh, I'm using Sim Toolkit Pro to provide the overlay. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to actually make a slight adjustment. Yeah, just give me a moment, please. Okay. Uh, let's go to the overlay map and let's actually... Uh, that's a little too far, I think. All right, that's better. I like that. And why is that showing like that? Not sure. Let's go with the default. One one seven contact Toronto Center on there we go. 84 streams. One, two, four decimal, Roughly six, six seven, hours five, each stream. One, the flight plan is 55,000. Um, exactly is it again? 55,645.4 nautical miles. 508.46 hours. How did it kick her off? One moment, Jet. What are you la- you're like dying. Your face is like red. And hello- Oh my god. Uh, oh yeah, it's locked. Sorry. I'll leave that on. You need to settle down, because you look like you're like- No, don't. But at least inform me so I know where I need to hide the body. Thanks. <laughs> One second, chat. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I don't look like I'm homeless anymore or greasy. Yes, I got a haircut. There you go. I didn't bother with it. I just... <laughs> posture check? What's this, po What's this here posture check that you're talking about, sir? Actually, posture's fine. Posture's not the problem. Oh my god. My, my oldest daughter needs help. Actually, I think I might need some help. By the way, for the record, the in-flight movie is Tron Legacy. If you don't like it, then you might want to take a nap. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Trajan's like, I had a feeling. Listen, 
I don't want to. I don't want to hear any of this. You know. Uh, let's actually zoom that in a little bit more. Will it be updated to the last latest Top Gun movie when it eventually comes out? Um, yes. Why would that even be a thing? <laughs> Why wouldn't that be a thing? All right, we have no alerts, so we're good there. All right. You know, all things considered, she's pretty, um, flying pretty stable. What's our altitude doing? We're still holding at 3,000, so that's good. Oh, You know, it'd be really nice if the, the button, like, if this stuff was functional. That would be great. That'd be great, okay? Look, you cast poking at... Poke, poke, poke. Listen. I'm poking at the... Yeah, listen. Are, we have a problem with it. Meanwhile, I'm in a constant right bank. Wonder if the weather loaded in right for me. I mean... What aircraft are you flying, TVL? Are you using the Bonanza? Or are you... Same as you, so the G36? It's possible the weather didn't load in right? What's the altitude ceiling on this model? That's actually a good question. You know what? Not a question. Let's check it. Let's check it out, shall we? Eighteen thousand five hundred feet. Does it have a fuel selector? It does. Are there winds around you? Yes. How strong are they and what direction is it blowing, right? Uh, it is the Beechcraft Bonanza G36. It's pretty accurate. Uh, there is a fuel selector. It's all the way down here. <laughs> So yeah, you do have a fuel selector. It does actually work. <laughs> we're currently on, apparently, yeah, we're currently on the left tank. Oh yeah, it's, it, it is a working, yes, it is. Most, most of the stuff in the G36 I actually found is, is operational. Like, I would like it if this stuff worked, right? But um, there's a couple, like the, the vent blower doesn't work, right? Um, AC uh, blower high doesn't work. This one is currently on upper, like, but the firewall air control, like this stuff is, as you can see, it's got the icon. They're added, they're going to be adding it in. It just doesn't currently work right now. That one's inoperant, but yeah, like most of this stuff actually does function, right? Most of it, not all of it. They're still working on it. But yeah, so like all of this stuff over here, your fuses, right? This, this is non-functional, but yeah, so Yes, the Bonanza G36, the Beechcraft Bonanza G36, I do believe does come with the standard version, yes. No, I don't like anything bigger than GA. I'm not a big fan. Like the, the largest the largest aircraft I've flown so far is the uh, Cessna 20, uh, 208B. I don't like, I don't like large buses. Oh, I want the DC-6. I'm not paying 50, $55 for it though. Yeah, I like it. I like the idea of it. I would love to fly it. I'm not paying $55 for it. I don't care if it's a flight study DC-6. I 
don't, I will not pay 55 bucks for it. Ain't happening. Yeah. If, if they're free aircraft, I'll try them out. Um, if they're added in from Microsoft for free, I'll try them out. I'm not buying aircraft for this. The Jeep Bonanza, the, um, the Beechcraft Bonanza G36 is, um, is default. Anytime I've tried to add their, the the community improvements, the game it, it actually breaks the plane. It makes it unflyable. Like we had an instance just as we were trying to get this started, and it took it took forty minutes to rectify it. Um, but yeah, so I was using the the community improvements. Um, I was at a 10% uh, 10 degree bank, so not super steep. I was adjusting the autopilot for heading and all of a sudden it comes up saying that the aircraft was overstressed and it crashed out, right? Restarted and the aircraft wouldn't start. It kept saying oil pressure, kept coming up with oil pressure, oil pressure. As soon as I, I had to shut down Microsoft Flight Sim, remove those, the, the Garmin G1000, G3000, and the G36 community uh, improvement. Not a problem. It hasn't been a problem since. So I don't know what it is or why, but yeah, I won't. Un now, the, the downside is, though, is the G1000, G3000 improvement are being done by the same group that are actually fixing them for the sim. Yeah, see now here's the thing. If I was into the A320 or the 787, um, you know, yeah, I would actually, I would probably, I would definitely go with the fly-by-wire A32NX and I would definitely use this heavy division 787. But I don't like the larger aircraft, right? So it's like, eh, no. Wow, we are way off course here, by the way, bro. Yeah, and I prefer the GA. I want to be a tourist. I want to be able to look out and see shit. I don't want to be flying at like thirty-two, th like cruising altitude of thirty-two thousand feet where you can barely see dick. Uh, uh that's not my kind of flying. I'm a GA pilot. I, I would never, even if I had a pilot's license, I would never want to be a commercial pl pilot. Never. I want to, you know, I would be like the bush pilot. I would have the float plane. Right. Hey, Grabzilla, how are you doing, man? How was your weekend? Yeah, I don't have a lurk command. Come on, guys. I've never had a lurk command here. Get with the program. Get with the goddamn program, okay? See, the CJ4 would be an exception. I'm going to love the bleep out of this. Well... I hope you're ready because this started off like a shit show. <laughs> you get with the program. No, you get with the program. We don't have alert command. Never had alert command. I'm not putting it in alert command. Get it? Got it? Good. <laughs> the CJ, and that that's the thing. The CJ4 is actually one that I would, you know. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same way, Peter. It would just be like I have zero interest in flying a freaking bus, okay? The only downside is, though, is isn't the CJ4 a, um, isn't that a, a payware? Yeah, dirt biker. Yeah, dirt bike. I know. Listen, I know dirt biker. Oh, it's free. Okay. You know what? If it's free, I'll check it out. It's a CJ4. I'll check it out after I'm done this. 
Flying around the world's no joke. This is legit some some stuff right now. Okay, are we even still connected? Oh, we are still. Okay, well, I am still connected to the sim. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's check the overlay map here really quick. Elite Dangerous is doing a free-to-play system thing. That's actually not a bad idea. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have to worry about it because I own Elite Dangerous and I have Odyssey, right? So, oh, not e oh, you mean Eagle Dynamics? Never mind. You mean DCS World? Yeah. Well, Eagle Dynamics, you can download DCS World for free anyway. You mean they give you, oh yeah, because you get a two week trial to test out stuff to see if you like it or not. It's only two weeks though, that's, you know, like. Well, you, yes, yes, it would be faster, Peter. Yes, it would be much faster, but that's not how we're rolling, okay? So that's not how this is gonna go. We're circumnavigating the world in the beach craft Bonanza G36, sir. <laughs> well, I mean, that is a good idea that Eagle Dynamics is doing that. I mean, I don't know how much interest, uh, you know, added interest that's really going to drum up, though. See... All right, hold on, let's... Excuse me, sir. Descent and maintain 2,900 feet. Expect vectors. Visual runway tree, six approach tree, six zero two. Sir. Okay, so... I was just like, uh, excuse me? See, the problem is, though, is... While that's nice, I still don't think that's really going to be a big draw. That's not going to drum up a lot of extra business. Again, I have a feeling, again, it's because of the price point of the stuff that you, you're you getting from Eagle Dynamics, right? First purchase will be 50% off regardless of if you get one thing or everything. Yeah, I still don't think that's really going to... I think the only reason they're trying to do this is because they're hoping it will drum up more, more business, but I really don't think that's going to do it. I... What it's going to take is they're going to have to drop the prices. Some of their shit's just too too expensive. People don't want to pay. I mean, I would love like right now during the during the Steam sale. There's a couple of things I would love to get from DCS World, like the Persian Gulf. I would love, or you know, I would love to get the Normandy, which is normally like freaking seventy bucks. It's on sale for like fifty percent off right now. I would love to get that stuff, but I would never pay full price for it never ever pay full price for it like not a freaking chance in hell yeah or syria right like there there's their their actual pricing is hot trash i will never pay full price to eagle dynamics for their stuff are you kidding me hell no it's overpriced as shit can't do it man you can't do it yeah full price is stupidly expensive like when you're paying you know, anywhere upwards of 80 to $140 Canadian for a single aircraft in DCS world. I'm like, nah, nah, fam, nah, right? Like they just, they just brought out the, uh, the hind, right? And I'm like, beautiful chopper. I would love to buy it, but currently it's 80, it's like freaking 79.99. And I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> not spending $80 for a freaking hind. It's not happening. I'm not, as much as I want the MI-24, I don't want it bad enough I'm spending 80 bucks on the damn thing. But I'm the same way with uh, with Microsoft Flight Sim. Like there's, if, if you can get a, a good high quality flight ready aircraft 
for 20 bucks, I would consider spending money on that. But when some of these things start at 50 and up, not a chance in hell. Uh, even then, Peter, even if I had gear like that, I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even then. Yeah, so I'm not banking like heavy, like hard here, but we're definitely, we're definitely getting buffeted around a little bit. Yeah, for something that you don't physically own anything, and exa and that's the exact the other thing too. You're 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 spending money for an unfinished pro uh, project or product, and it's like that doesn't that doesn't leave me with a very comfortable feeling. It's the same reason why I don't pre-order anything. It's why I when I hear about a new title coming out or a new version of a game like 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 um, Farming Simulator 22. I'm remaining cautiously optimistic. Yeah, the F-16, no, listen, the F-16 syndrome, bro, it's real. Okay, we're gonna switch over to the right tank. Speaking of which, let's pop to the exterior here really quick and check a couple of things. How's our, all right, we're still good on fuel, but I wanted to, I wanted to balance that out. I mean, yeah, the F-16 at launch was a super letdown. Now, they've improved it. It is, and I've I've recently flown it. I've recently flown the, um, the F-A-18 Hornet as well, and it's really, oh, it was hot garbage. Look at super carriers. Look at the super carrier launch in DCS World. How terrible was the super carrier launch? Like, it was brutal. Oh, Jesus, man. It was actually the super carrier launch that made me completely back away from DCS World altogether. They botched that so poorly. I'm like, nah, fam. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with your shit. You know, yeah, granted. Eagle Dynamics has been around for freaking ever doing this kind of stuff. Like, doing flights, like, combat simulators and stuff, right? But still, like... It's ridiculous. And this is this is coming from some myself, someone who has worked in game development, who understands the cycle, understands the costs incurred and everything else. But holy crap. Like when you nickel and dime the shit out of your out of your player base, people just they lose a they lose faith in developers. And they just get tired of the constant spending cycle. Right? Like they would actually rather pay $15 for early access to a title that from an indie developer. Look at Valheim. Valheim is a perfect example of this. Under $20. Early access. It was an early access title that played incredibly like a finished product. And they're constantly... They're constantly updating. They're, they're always like, they're active with their community and everything, right? And that's the thing, right? So you didn't have to break the bank to get a good quality product. And because of these independent, like these small indie dev studios, you're seeing more and more people go, like stop spending money on major purchases, even within the sim community and stuff like that, because they're tired of that constant spending cycle. I'm one of these people. I I, I don't think it, it it's not a viable functional business model anymore from from a development standpoint. So you, you're kind of at this at the standstill now where it's like you look at it you're like I really want it and then you battle you battle with that internal demon that is like the instant gratification demon in your skull that's like but we have to get it. We have to get it and then the logical side kicks in and goes, bro, how much money have you already invested in this? How much fun have you gotten out of it? Have you actually gotten your money's worth out of it? And in nine times out of 10, most people, the answer is no, I have not. There is a very small niche community that has, but the vast majority of people who have sunk a crap ton of money into stuff like 
DCS world, train sim world, flight sim, stuff like that, have not actually ever gotten their monetary value out of it. Well, and I, I'm not one of those people that I think I have to get a game, right? Uh, actually, here's the funny thing. Everybody thinks that, not everybody. Um, there is a very small niche group that thinks Star Citizen is a scam. But if you actually go back and look at the development, you're talking about a, a studio that started with 25 people and are up to now three different studios and 500 people in the main, five to 600 people employed in the main studio uh, through Cloud Imperium. Plus they're also paying other studios to help with certain aspects. Um, when you do the math, the average running cost just of development right now is currently at about 55 million a year. So you look at how much Star Citizen has already brought in and how much is going out, right? Yeah, hundreds of millions of dollars in, but you think if it the running cost just to develop right now is running at roughly about 55, between 55 and $60 million a year, because you have all the staff you have to pay, you have the facilities you have to cover, you have all the, all the overhead costs of making sure that your, your networks are update and secure, that your staff have PCs that can actually do the rendering work and everything else and the development work, that you're paying for power, you're paying for water, you know, you start looking at the business aspect of it and that 320 million-ish that they've already brought in vanishes quickly. Taxes, maintenance, and upkeep, exactly. Staff, rent for facilities, utilities, exactly. That money vanishes fast. So, and that's the other thing. Be, again, because I have that base knowledge of game development, it's one of those, I look at that and I'm like, bro, like you start, especially when you look at game dev as a business and understand you have to pay the people that are working, you have to have facilities for them to work in, you have to have utilities, you have to have the equipment. Yeah, I don't think it's doing as well. No, I really don't. I really don't. No. See, here's the thing: is you can with uh, with 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 Star Citizen, right? So Cloud Imperium, you pay forty five dollars. You don't have to spend another effing penny if you don't want to. You pay forty five dollars, forty five bucks base package, right? You get one ship. All the other ships you can buy it for in game currency, so you can. $45, which is base, which is still below the price of any other AAA game out there, right? That gives you your first ship, X amount of credits, a little extra couple of things, and boom, you have access, right? Every time they run an update, you get access to all of that. But then you can, every other single ship in the game can be bought with in-game credit. So just like Elite Dangerous, you do mining, you can do, you know, bounty hunting, you can be a pirate, you can do like all of that for 45 bucks. But that's the thing, I'm looking at it from both sides of it. I'm looking at it from a customer point of view and somebody who's worked in, develop in development before. And the problem is, is customers actually, if you look at it even as a customer, from a customer point of view, as a business first, and you understand where that money has to be allocated, that money is barely a drop in the tank. Because the other thing, the other thing too is, because it's a persistent online world, that means that they also have server costs incurred too. They have to pay for those servers to keep them active and running and online. So when a developer has all of these added costs in, the amount of money that they've already brought in through their Kickstarter and all of this other stuff is a drop in the bucket. Like look at Red Dead Redemption 2. This is this is actually a great conversation right now, by the way. I love this. Because we're we're able to talk about some of this stuff while, you know, we're 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 flying around here. So just give me a second here. Hey Badger. Um, so Oh, 
Most expensive game development cost. These are the most expensive video games to develop. This is the list. Red Dead Redemption 2. Cost. 240 million US. Marketing cost was 300 million. Total cost. 540 million dollars. For Red Dead Redemption 2. Star Citizen. 275 million plus. Marketing cost has only been 45 million. Total cost, 320 million plus. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. 50 million development cost. 200 million marketing cost. So here's the other side of this that you've got to understand too. And while we're doing this, hold on. I want to pop out. Get us a nice little sort of a nice looking view. Yes, it's very nice. She's getting ooh, she's getting cloudy here though, bro. Um, so if you notice, Star Citizen development cost two hundred seventy five million plus. They've only spent forty five million on marketing, but Red Dead Redemption two two hundred forty on development, three hundred million on marketing. They spent more on marketing Red Dead Redemption 2 than they did on the freaking development of it. Whereas Star Citizen is completely the opposite. All of their, mo the vast majority of their money has gone into the development. The flight's going pretty good. Um, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, 50 million to, to make it, 200 million in marketing. <laughs> it's stupid, Grand Theft Auto 5. $137, uh, $37 million in development cost, $128 million for marketing. Hey, Herser, how are you doing? Ooh, what kind of coffee? So, I mean, you get the idea. When you start looking at stuff like this, you get you kind of get the idea of, like, some of this shit is stupidly expensive. It was just, yeah, exactly. It was just copy pasta. But look at how much money they freaking made off there, right? Holy cannoli. Chocolate edition, strawberry cheesecake. Bodum Bistro, electric grinder. Ooh. Nice. Basically all the same, right? Yeah, they, they copy past a lot of stuff for, for Call of Duty or uh, Modern Warfare. And that and that and that's where, so their development costs are cheaper. But look at their freaking advertising budget. Like their marketing budget is through the freaking roof. It's insane. Okay, this cloud level is some hot garbage right now. All right. Um, we're going to drop down to about 2,500. Uh, no, 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 no. I want 25. Turn vertical speed mode on. So, I mean, and that's the thing, like, yeah, it's kind of cheaty because I've got experience in the, in the, in that field. And I've, I've worked within, we'll clear some distance at around, th ahead 3,000 feet. Yeah, I'm going to drop down to 2,500 anyway. I'm all right with that. But, and I think that's. That's where the big disconnect is, though, for between the uh, like the buyer, the consumer and the developers. And the other thing, though, is, too, is you got to look at it from from the other standpoint. A lot of developers aren't in charge of how things are priced out. It's their marketing firms. The board of whatever publisher that actually sets the price. That's the other thing too, right? So Red Dead Redemption 2, $300 million in marketing. They spent more on the ad, uh, on the advertising and the marketing than they did on the actual game development. Yeah, it, and it, I see, exactly, right? So Cloud Imperium, that's, that's kind of their thing. And that's like, 
is it a perfect is it a perfect model no like as a as businesses go there there is so much more that could be done to improve that no because uh, grob the uh, h135 does not have the range needed to be able to do this what four one second i gotta go swap a water jug i'm gonna leave this running i'll be back in a second guys just hold on this is what i'm gonna do for you though I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it to the exterior view, and uh, we're going to do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I'll be back in a moment. I see the weather hasn't improved. Ooh, I'm in a thunderstorm cloud. Fun. Oh, that is some bullshit. That is some horse crap right there, bro. Go over the weather. No, we're going through it. I'm at 2,500 feet. I am not going up above it. I'm going through it. Heck with that. I love the rainbow underneath though. That is so cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that's the thing. It's the bonanza. I'm not flying over this. I don't give a crap. It's not happening, fam. It's not happening. We got a little wet. A little wet. It's not bad, though. Well, 18,500 is the uh, is the max operational ceiling for the Bonanza, right? Okay, chat. If you guys happen to get ads, be sure to thank Golden H21 for this because he's the one who spent the points for it. All right, let's uh, let's check our. Uh, let's zoom out here for a quick second, see how close we are to our destination. Our first first hop. I feel like we're still a fair ways out. Can't see shit underneath us, right? Oh, well, there we go. That's why I've got the external view. I'm like, bro. And the nice thing is you guys have the navigational information at the top of the screen too, so. I've been running any storms on the route. Yeah, and yeah, t -Vale, I know you're, you're a fair bit ahead. Yeah, I think you're ahead of the worst of the weather. I would, I would have to concur with that. That you're ahead of the worst of the weather. Still here, my dad, my mom was camping for a full week, so I'm doing her dirt. All good, no worries. No worries, Tom. It's all good, man. Real life, real life. Okay, it looks like it's clearing a little bit. All right, looks like the weather's clearing a bit, so that's good. You quit your job at Harris Tweeter. Were you finding you were burning yourself out? Is that what the problem is? Let's make some minor adjustments here. We're a little off course at the moment. A little off course. It's not bad though. Have I tried VAT sim? Uh, no, I have not. I've not tried VAT sim. The only downside is um, VAT sim. Is it freeware or is it payware? Not enjoying it anymore. Also, my father said he could, he would look at me when he would take me to work and he could tell I did not want to go. It's free? Okay, well, that's good to know. I mean, I use NeoFly, but uh, this one, we're not using anything like that because I'm not hauling cargo or, or passengers or anything, so. Don't mess with the TX, Logitech Nerd Wallet ad, Sports Clip ad, the new Ford Maverick pickup, and better internet ad, no food ads. Aw. Oh. <laughs> okay, ad break guy can take a butterfinger in the fuck. Listen, don't be don't be dissing on Butterfingers. Butterfingers are delicious. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Poor Grabzilla's like Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> this is our flight, and these are our stories. <laughs> It's just ATC went online, can do whatever. Usually nice controllers that help as realistic as possible. Yeah, I'm not too worried about like, for what I'm doing, because I'm circumnavigating everything Kosmonovich, uh, I'm not really worried about actual like active ATC or anything like that. So it's, um, by the way, for those of you who are joining us and are uh, curious as to what's going down exclamation plan, if you want to check out the flight plan that I uh, set up through um, through Sky Vector, 
Hashtag lurk off. You're lurk. Listen. 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 Oh, hell no. What you do in the privacy of your own room is your own damn business. You don't need to be sharing that, okay? I don't need to know about you lurking off somewhere, okay? Have Volanta? What? What is Volanta? Please explain, Shy. Please explain. I am curious, sir. What is Volanta? Like flight sim tracker thing? Um, I'm... See, the thing, I don't want too much running in the background, right? Like, I'm running Sim Toolkit Pro. Um, I can actually see people flying around. Like, there's an active, active map in Flight Sim, uh, in Sim Toolkit Pro as well. So, I feel like that that would just be another thing that's... There is such a thing as too much, you know what I mean? Now, it doesn't actively show anybody on the map as I'm flying, but... There is, again, too much, too many things going on. Uh, no, I haven't checked it out. But it is something I will probably have a look at tonight. Oh, look, we're flying into more shit. <laughs> Man, this cloud cover is, wow. Like, it's beautiful out here. So the initial plan, I think we're going to be able to make Shefferville tonight, like before tonight. I was driving home from work. Well, oh, well, I'm fine and dandy, sir. But <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, I was driving home from work. Oh, my. <laughs> Oi. Oi, I was driving home from work. I'm, guys, you have no idea how, how freaking cool this feels to like actually have a plan in place, flight plan set up. We're, we're circumnavigating the entire world. <clears throat> for those, uh, for those one-off flights you want to do full ATC coverage. Yeah, I wasn't because I knew that there might be some technical issues and things like that. I didn't want to oversaturate it. I didn't want to have too much going on where it was going to become a bit of a problem. I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just keep it keep it kind of basic. Hey, Thoughtswick, how you doing? What's up? Is we are flying around the world. This is uh, <laughs> this is stream one of eighty four required to do this. <clears throat> actually, have to go through the selection training process in order to become. A That's actually really cool that they have to do that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually very impressive. How are we doing here so far? All right, we'll cut that back to zero four five degrees. All right, weather's clearing, so that's good. Dealing with oh thoughts, dude, that sucks, man. CRA is always some horse shit to deal with. Well, you know what? You can leave. You can leave it up. Leave it on the lurk while you're dealing with the CRA and watch us uh, try not to crash as we fly around the world. And the chances of finding a controller that doesn't know what they're doing or is acting up is essentially zero. Yeah, well, <laughs> then you have to deal with asshat pilots, right? I mean, I could definitely see how that would add a, a huge layer of realism to everything. Former, former employee didn't give, give my T4 and oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see how that's going to cause some some difficulty for you. All right, let's turn that on so I get some maybe we'll get some I don't think we're going to get much in the way of um visual stuff up here, but we'll have people who hop in and troll but since controllers have ability to delete you, it usually gets resolved instantly. That's actually good though. Yeah, actually, you know what? Thoughts, that's actually really smart thinking that if you've got a former empl uh, employer that didn't give you, provide you with the tax papers that you needed, 
that that's always your best bet, right? So press X number for X service doesn't point me in the right. Yee. Yeah, that's kind of a hassle. Sucks that you're dealing with that right now. Yes. My oldest daughter walks into the room, walks right up beside me, stands there for a moment and declares that surgery is just stabbing someone to life, not death. <laughs> what you just said, that surgery is just stabbing someone to life, not death. Golden, you're, you're right. She's not wrong. <laughs> it's a... It's a very, very layman's way of looking at it, but I guess, right? Kosmanovich, deep. <laughs> Holy crap. I have my last pay stub from 2020, so I could file with that. Yeah, I mean, if you have your last pay stub and it shows what your, your uh, annual, like what your annual was, kid's 15 years old. <laughs> and that's what she, this, these are the little nuggets of just, brilliance that she shows from time to time where it's just like all of a sudden like she's a smart kid she says she's not but she is and she she fully denies it but then she comes out with these little nuggets like this and I'm like I just, I'm just like okay <laughs> brain needs a moment to process and I don't know whether to be a dad or to be proud <laughs> you know? does have the year to date on that's actually good you could technically use that um, it's a little more awkward, but you can actually use that for, for CRA purposes because it does have year to date on it. Right. So it's just a pain in the ass to use for filing, but answer simple. Be both right. <laughs> Dad and <ain't> proud. <laughs> See, the problem is <laughs> if she said something like that at school, we'd be getting a phone call. Do you know when driving, all that's in place is too yellow and a mutual agreement not to, to not play bumper cars? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, we would, if she said something like that at, at her, for, uh, while she was in school, we would get a phone call from the school. Yes, can confirm. 100% accurate. You know what? I want to check. Are these functional? No. Oh, <gasps> the floodlights are though. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I'm down with the flood. That's not though. What if we turn both of these on? <laughs> now I'm just pressing random shit. <laughs> now I'm like, yo, can I? <gasps> Dude, what? I'm just playing with random shit. I'm like, <laughs> okay, it's, listen, it's getting dark and spoopy. I'm gonna turn the floodlights on. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. I'm scared, chat. If I said uh, if someone said something like that at school, it's usually the teachers. Yeah, no. See, she goes to a Catholic high school, so you know, <laughs> we would get a phone call. Do you know what your daughter's doing? Do you know what your daughter said? No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. <laughs> yeah, I've I've come across uh, lightning and some storm formations. That is actually the this is uh, the it's the Beechcraft Bonanza G36 that we're flying in right now. He's very nice airplane. I like it. I like it very much. Oh, spotlights actually look really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Reflection's pretty good in here. How's our frame rate doing? Actually, not nearly as bad as I thought it would. 
glad I made those visual tweaks. Why is PC Building Simulator so much fun to play? Um, because it's one of those titles that's relatively cathartic. The upgraded stuff that adds on additional detailed lighting. Yeah, I I know people that really enjoy Flyby Wires, uh, the A32NX, um, and it's a beautiful aircraft. It's just not my style, right? External nav UI. Oh, this one? Yes. But the nice thing is, I can also turn that external nav stuff off. The stuff up above, that's actually an overlay for the stream. That's specific just for the stream. All right, whereabouts are we here? So yeah, the stuff that you currently see on the screen right now is actually, uh, that's, that's an, uh, an external overlay. How about we... Okay, it's not too bad. We're, we've got an awful lot of water underneath us, so holy shit. Like the, the, um, like just all the lakes and everything in northern Quebec is insane right now. Borat is very nice. Yeah, northern Quebec is, that's what north, and this is part of the reason why it's just like, it's all dense forest. It's just, it's, there is so much natural beauty up this way, but holy crap. Man, some of these, like we're flying into some crap weather right now. TV, how far ahead do you, uh, do you think you are roughly? How far ahead do you think you are? You've got about an hour head start, right? 10 degree right bank, not sure. You're messing with my Zen thing, man. Hey, Jaffa, thank you so much for the Better seven month resub. Brace for impact. No, listen, Jaffa, that's not happening, fam. We're not crashing. Jaffa, bad Jaffa. Jaffa, how are you doing, man? This is the first leg of our uh, circumnavigation of the entire world in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in the Beechcraft Bonanza G36. You're 83.4 83, uh, 83 nautical miles out. Nice. That's not bad. You're uh, you're a fair bit ahead of me then. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's... Yeah, you're definitely you're you're gonna be a fair bit ahead of me here. Holy shit. Um not checklist. Oh, I didn't start my I should have started the stopwatch. God damn it. God damn it. I should have started the stopwatch on that. You're also doing 109. Yeah, I'm only doing about 170. How are we doing here so far? Uh, fuel's doing pretty good. Wind's coming out of the north. Eh, that's not bad. I think we're going to be all right. Estimated time is about 89 minutes still. Because the first leg is 514 nautical miles, right? So. That wind direction is definitely pushing us around a bit. Way more than I was, uh, uh, you know, originally bargaining for.
I keep have to, having to adjust heading just because of the wind. Yes, I've got everything set to live, Grob. Everything is set to live. <laughs> it's it's how I roll in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Everything's always live. Live traffic, live weather, just trying to get trying to get the the, the best overall experience, right? Hello, Doge. How are you doing? Hello, bud. You're a very happy looking puppy. Go away, Cora Digest. I got a frightful. Dude, how's the PC how's the PC working for you? Other than the, the one cheese off of things. I'm in, let's go. So TVL's got, he's considerably further ahead than, uh, ahead of the game than we are right now, but. Slowly getting things reinstalled. Yeah, that's the only downside, right? Because that one M dot, I honestly, I hope it's not a dead M dot two. I still don't even know how in the hell you would have done that. When you mean by live, does it mean if it's raining in, say, Paris IRL? Yes, it's raining in Paris in game. Yes. Frightful win in that one. God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. What's your name, scumbag? It's partly cloudy. It's still a bit breezy. Good to know. Yeah, I don't. It, I hope that's not what it is. But like I said, if next time you come up this way, bring it with you. If Frightful is not Haxor, Frightful is dealing with uh, a, a full, re full clean wipe and reinstall of Windows 10 right now. <laughs> Oof. This is some sheet. Man, this weather sucks dongus. <laughs> Already got the tire fixed. Nice. All right, that's good. So you you got some you got some of the stuff you wanted to accomplish done today. That's good. That's good. Yeah, but shy. To be fair, sometimes you have to bite the bullet and reinstall. And I'm looking at doing the same thing for both PCs myself as well. I mean, I kind of want to try to get above this cloud cover, but scenery, if you're above the cloud cover, we're flying at 2,500 feet. You don't get to see this stuff at 25, uh, like, you know, 10,000 feet. I mean, you can see it. It's not as nice. It's not as nice. Oh, this rain can suck it at any point in time, though. Yeah, F's in chat, F's in chat. Yeah, clean install was, yeah, clean install was the only option. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, well, and the thing is, like, I, I used to have a cycle where once a year I was doing a clean installation. Once a year. It was a clean install of the operating system and all the required applications that I used on a daily basis. I was, uh, File Explorer was severely, uh, severely corrupted. All right, um, so at least I only, okay, pedo heat, let's verify everything's Um, I almost kind of, no, we'll turn panel lights on though. I don't have to worry about de-ice right now, so that's good. I wish, like, oh man, I want to be able to turn cabin heat on, right? But...
Mmm, we're gonna leave cowl flaps alone. Holy crap. Bro, this weather is some horse crap. Ooh. All right, Fatzilla, I got you, fam. I got you. Ooh. Get that stretch in there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There we go. There. Oof. The fact that it actually does actively show like the water streaming over over everything. This is such a beautiful aircraft, by the way. Listen, Frightful, it's probably a good thing you had that other M.2 that you hadn't installed yet. Yeah, that's some suck. It wasn't being recognized by the BIOS. And all he did was just remove everything so there was only just the M.2 for the, uh, the, the, the main drive to reinstall the operating system and then put everything, like, reconnect everything in. And for whatever reason... Nuts Life would like you to create some art. Okay, seriously? You, you, you want me to create art right now? The AC tech finally finished fixing our AC. I can turn the... Oh, thank God. Dude, 50 degrees Celsius yesterday, Badger? How hot is it there today? Because right now it's only 22 degrees C here. How hot, like how hot is it out there right now where you are? Because you said it was like 50 degrees Celsius yesterday with the humidity. Holy shit. Okay, you know what? You know what? Here, here. Let me, let me see if I'm fine. Just listen, get that checked. That's a problem, sir. Go see a doctor about that flatulence. That's disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let me see if I can find something here. That's not very pog. You want you want me to draw some art, right? Okay. No. no. This is going to be crappy by the way. Intentionally crappy by the way. I'm glad you think it's I like that. Who's calling me? There, there's your art. <laughs> 91 Fahrenheit 33C and you are in NYC. Y'all can keep that shit too. There, there's... There's your art. Trust me, that's not how I actually draw. I'm just like, yo, I ain't got time for this shit. There's your artwork. I just realized something though. We gotta get in here really quick. Okay, we're, we're still on track, we're good. Ah, uh, fuel's good. I need to, oh no, um, open my sound settings here really quick because, uh, I just realized something. Do, 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 yeah, went back to default, you son of a bitch. There we go. Aha. Life is trying to distract you. 
Oh. I kind of understand that you're trying to distract me. It's supposed to be 108 today and 111 tomorrow. You can keep that shit out there too. Hell no. 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 No, no, and... Nope. Not happening. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we're NYC is a <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like holy crap. This is like a whole lot of crap going on there though. All right, all right, all right. So, we're flying over northern Quebec right now. My AC is not happy and I can already hear my wallet crying. <laughs> that was this past weekend having to crank on all the AC in the house. It was... Okay, listen. Friday, 92% humidity. Yesterday, 87% humidity. It was gross. Today, 56. Like, and we got so much rain that the uh, dehumidifier in the basement is struggling to keep up with the moisture because the because we have because of the older house we have a natural stone foundation. And Sergeant Ruiz, everything's going pretty good, man. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, we're we're on the first leg of flying around the world in Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 2020. I'm in Arizona. My vehicle has no AC, and the beautiful thing is though, Grob, Grobzilla. Here's the thing. You're in Arizona, and it yeah, it sucks that your vehicle has no AC, but the beauty of being in Arizona is that at least it's a dry heat. Friday night and yesterday, it felt like we were living in the tropics. You know how they get, like, it felt like you were living in a rainforest. It's like 92% humidity, and you just step outside, and your body just feels wet. Oh, trust me, dude, it's going to be great because it's going to take 84 streams to do this, but it's going to be amazeballs the entire time. At least the weather's finally clearing up, so this is good. That low-level cloud cover and the rain seems to be clearing out right now, so I'm all right with this. How are we looking fuel-wise so far? Okay, right and left tank have almost emptied out. Uh, right tank's actually emptied out a little bit more. I'll switch back over to the left tank shortly here. I'm trying to keep everything balanced out on tanks. 95 degrees in NYC. Yeah, uh, you guys can keep that shit. It's only 22 degrees Celsius here right now. I'm okay with this. And crack the side window so it uses physics to suck cool air through the back window. Yeah, well, hopefully. The physics of convection. Cool, yeah, exactly. Coolish, exactly. Coolish. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. <laughs> it's better than it, it. Listen, it's better than baking your noodle with the windows closed, right? Right? Yeah, Drejan. <laughs> Drejan can take his F and E back at any point in time, right, Badger? I still can't believe it. Hope British Columbia hit 50 degrees Celsius. That is freaking insane, man. I can't even imagine. That is nuts. That is some hot ass weather. It's like, is it hot enough for you? Sweat dripping down your back, down the cracky ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need ELT on. I think we're all right there. While the East Coast and West Coast been in a heat wave, yeah. 29C, feeling like 39 where I'm. Dude, stay inside. Holy shit. If you don't have to be outside, don't be outside. What the? Thank you, Nuts Life. God damn it, Nuts Life. You son of a bitch. Nuts Life just wants to see me fly, freaking fly the, the Spitfire across the across the channel. Got both AC? Yeah, I bet you do. 
Jesus, Nuts Life, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Holy shit. Got to try to keep... Well, we're, we're relatively on course. We're, we're flying... We're flying on almost the... I've got to keep adjusting because, like, we're way off track here. You'll meet me in the Focka Wolf? Oh my god. And a sproing to you too, sir. By the way, Chad, if you're new here... Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. There might be some truth to that. I may actually be a piece of garbage. I haven't decided yet. The jury is still out on that. <clears throat> <laughs> But you know what? I own it. I own it. I own it. How are we doing here so far? We got any, uh... Man, there's a whole lot of nothing here but trees and water. Do you... Think of it like this. Could you imagine how much of a freaking nightmare doing search and rescue in this uh, area would be? Honestly, think about how much of a freaking nightmare search and rescue would be here. No. <laughs> right? Nuts like let's listen, Nuts Life already knows. Alright, let's uh let's adjust heading back to zero uh, zero four eight degrees. ET is uh, about 71 minutes, if I'm reading that correctly. TVO with the slides. I'm glad that everybody is enjoying the use of the stream loot service. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. I'm glad you guys enjoy the, the stream loot service. It is it is shenanigans and it does give you guys a little bit more interactivity with uh, with the stream. All right, looks like that put us back pretty much right on course here. Uh, can we? No, I want to zoom out a little bit more. I think I'm already zoomed in and out. Yeah, I'm already zoomed into the max. All right. So far, so good. It looks like the, the vast majority of the bad weather we've already passed through, so we're doing pretty good. Cable management sucks, but cable management in 80 degrees. Oh, 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 oh. 60 nautical miles out from C uh, CRT2. I don't have to deal with this 10 degree bank anymore. Yeah, I don't understand why yours is doing that. That is really weird. Okay, we're gonna switch back over to left tank. Okay. Get that, keep that fuel balanced out. Yeah, thank God, yeah, no doubt. Thank God for fans, right? How's uh, T Vale? How's the weather up there, uh, up where you are? Because, like you said, you're 60 nautical miles out, right? So, how's that weather doing up that way? Clear? Awesome. Glad to hear that. Oh, that makes me feel very happy. Okay, so this is the first leg, which is. 400, 514 nautical miles for the first leg. Uh, then the second leg will take us up to. Hold on, me zoom in on my uh, on my flight plan here. we 
will get us up to uh, Squaw Lake. Uh, that chunk is... So, I'm going to try to get us up to Shefferville. Uh, Shefferville. That's the idea. And the next leg of this journey is going to be an additional 320 nautical miles at a bearing of 058 degrees. Uh, we're currently inbound for CRT2. Ugh. Excuse me. Which is a little private airstrip called Riviere Tamaskami. That's that's our first first stop. So it's a little private airstrip in northern Quebec. And when I say like this place is out in the middle of nowhere, I mean it is legit in the middle of effing nowhere. Frightful Mage with the five gifted subs, Cromwell 564, Luftwaffe Lines, Bo Janker, Shy, and Blue Eyed Tom. Enjoy your gifted subscriptions. Be sure, no matter where you are on Twitch, if you are ever gifted a subscription to a channel, be sure to thank the, the individual who gifted those subs because that they're super awesome and very kind. You're messing with my Ooh. Also, enjoy your emotes. This is your You're captain speaking. <laughs> What is my tail number? Uh, one one. Uh, sorry, it is. Uh, I do believe it's CY CYG one one seven. Yeah, CYG one one seven. Ah, oh, you know what? I didn't even have to pop to the external view. I could have just looked right here. CYG one one seven. God damn it. Uh, I'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. But again, fright. <laughs> this is Frightful Mage. He's one of my moderators. This is his story. <laughs> I understand the 117, but what's the CYG? Um, you'll often find... <laughs> uh, it's... I Listen, I just wanted the CYG, okay? There, there's no actual rhyme or reason to it. I just wanted it. Don't judge me. All right, so... I, if I had to guess, oh, hey, easy there, bud. Yeah, so we're officially 65 minutes out. All right, there we go. Montreal Center, Flynn, so it's CYG-117. Okay, there we go. So we're now in through Montreal Center. No wind data? Wow, the uh, <laughs> wind data is doing some dumb shit right now, huh? Boom! Hope you got a sense of humor like me. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Frightful Mage has got a bit of a sense of humor. Trust me, he'll warn you if you cross some lines, though. Oil pressure's good, oil temp is good. Ugh. Press the FMS CRSR knob. Wow! 
what? I did press it, you jackass. Fine. God damn it. <laughs> oh my God damn it. Damn it, Billy. Yeah, oh uh, no, that's that's true. Frightful Mage has known me for, for 30 plus years, so you know. You know. He's, he's had to... Listen. That's a two-way street, though, okay? <laughs> Landed at a CRT, too? How are the conditions, t -Vale? Clear? Beautiful. Love to hear it. Thanks, man. So, t -Vale, what did you think of that flight so far? I mean, it's like, look, honestly, it's it's beautiful territory, but there's not a whole lot going on. How annoying are you? Listen, just like everybody else, we all have we all have our moments, Tom. Most days you're pretty good, and then other days it's like it's questionable. Don't worry, it's all good. <laughs> Not obvious that that was the, that, that's not obvious that's all the, the, um, uh, mahoose of power lines there, is it? That's not obvious at all, right? Can't tell that that's all the, the high tension power lines there? Hey, listen, we all have our days. It's okay. Like... It's literally, there's all these trees in these lakes, and then there's a line, like just a swath cut through them. Oh, look, we found roads. Holy crap. Chat, we found roads. Sometimes I want to stab and rend others. <laughs> others I want to smash and crush. <laughs> what is your preferred hammer? Mjolnir, how's that? We found roads, chat! There's civilization up here! You're still looking for me? I mean, there's CYG-117. Flynn 17 is the call sign. TVL's like, yo, I'm sitting at CRT2. <laughs> CRT2 already. Yeah, I think it's nice that the weather's finally clearing up, by the way. Yeah, so we're we're still an hour out. You've got an hour jump on us. North American server, USA East. How is our fuel doing? That doesn't seem right. Hold on a second here. No, okay, 48%. Nope, that's, that's right. We've got enough fuel to get there. I kind of figured we would. Oh my god, no, not, it's not going to be a streak, but uh, I'm going to be doing this consistently for the next 84 streams. So, 84 day streak, I would love to, but no. 
there are things that require my attention that I will not be able to do this unless I was double streaming. But yeah, so just, just to give you an idea here really quick. So it's Cascade Overload, status is online, East USA. Man, my, why is, well, okay, wait. Why do I have a better 32 MS? That's better. Jesus. I was like, yo. All right, something I do have to do here really quick. Businessman PK, how are you doing, bud? It's really good to see you. I mi Dude, I miss you, man. No, no word of a lie. Miss you. Miss you, fam. Miss you. Okay. I just wanted to turn the engine, the engine sound down a little bit more. He's like, look behind you. I'm terrified. I'm screwed. Um. You mean ahead of me? You're like, look behind you. No, you're in front of me. That is clearly you in front of me. I see plain, <laughs> I see plain people. You just set up for next flight, nice. Um, so Tom, the kitchen is complete. The only thing that we're waiting on now is uh, the installation of the new heating radiator. So yeah, biz, um, I spent some time doing, like planning this one out. And this is, we are circumnavigating the entire planet in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. I have a, there's the, that's the link to the actual flight plan. And it's going to take 84 streams to pull this off. Yeah, Businessman PK. Businessman PK's here. He's hanging out. He was here for a moment anyway. I don't know if he's still here. He might be. I hope, I hope he is. He might still be here. Right? Exactly. Where's the boss man? Where's where's the where's the B man biz? But dude, this is this is gonna take some And now he's behind me. <laughs> well he's probably at work. I'd imagine he's working. Yeah, I'm doing round the world. I am. Well, Tom, I don't know if you caught it on uh on on Big J's stream on Friday, that's when I was I was talking with Jay about it, and provided the links and everything to do it. And Jay 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 wants to do it, but he wants to do it in the A320. I'm like, fam, the only way to actually see the world is like this. I'm a freaking tourist, man. I want to see this kind of shit. Like this is like we are remote though. Like, look at how far apart these people are. Like, if these are if these were farms, you couldn't even shout down the road to your closest neighbor. You flew right by me. Yeah, that's because uh, the the Beechcraft does uh, average is about 170 knots. Like, I'm running at uh, 100, 169, 170 uh, knots right now. So. Yep, airport I'm at is just a runway. I kind of figured it was. I knew it was just a little private airstrip. Like, look at all the freaking lakes around us. Like, look at this. This is insanity right now. It's literally just dots of land in between all the water. I didn't know I was busy as hell Friday. Had to go to a meeting, pick a chick, then fought, yeah. Then Chick-fil-A, uh, Chick then my mom picked me up. Ooh, ice cream, I want ice cream. Oh, it is, it's this, again, this is Northern Quebec that we're currently flying over. Won't be home till the 5th of July. Oh, right, cause <laughs> 4th of July America. 
Yum Breakfast of Champions, I smoke a protein shake with two cups of coffee in it. I mean, if you say so. If you say so. All right, so this is what we got going on here. Let's uh, let's check our, uh, our time. Our estimated time is 53 minutes, 14 seconds. So, chat, I'm going to leave you guys hanging out for a couple of minutes. I need to get up. I'm going to go stretch my legs. I'm going to go use the bathroom and make myself a fresh cup of coffee. Please sit back. Enjoy the in-flight movie. And I'll catch you all in a few minutes. I'm actually going to leave this screen up for you guys so you guys can see everything. I'm just going to turn the camera off. And I will be back momentarily with a fresh cup of joe and an empty bladder because... Whew, it's going to be rough otherwise. I'll see you in a few.
Well, good to see we didn't crash. <laughs> it is good to see that we did not crash. Listen, Drajon. What's your name, scumbag? <clears throat> Where, where's Ma? Blue 387. Not seeing Ma. Ma, did we lose you already, sir? Did we lose you? The Baron is in the premium. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to be here. You landed to change planes. It's probably a good idea, Ma. You should be able to join on me, though. But yeah, I'm going to be here. That's what I'm doing for for uh, for Thursday. I'll be here. Wait, how's our uh, how's our fuel situation? Forty one percent. Okay. Uh, speed is one hundred and forty six knots. Nope. Nope. I've never done I've never done fireworks for that. Um the town does fireworks for the first, but I don't do them. Okay, need a plane with that and higher. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit higher anyway. Uh, we're coming up on the point that I'm going to have to switch over to the right tank shortly here by the looks of it. We seem to be burning off a considerable amount of fuel way faster than I thought we would, but... I think the problem was is because I went up here and I did this. No, that's that's fine. I don't understand how we how we ended up burning off so much fuel because this thing's got like almost a 900 nautical mile range or yeah, about a 900 nautical mile range with uh, full tanks. So the only thing I can account for is the weather. <clears throat> So that's about the only thing I can really account for is just the weather. Uh, so the first leg of the trip, we're uh, are located the the uh, airfield that we're heading to is CRT two. Why is it doing dumb shit right now? Why are you doing dumb stuff? And the airfield itself is called Riviere Tamaskami. It's a private airfield in Northern Quebec. And then from there, we'll be uh, legging it an additional 320 nautical miles to uh, up to a uh, Squaw Lake or Shefferville. Yeah, we've been burning off fuel a little bit faster than I would have liked. Uh, let's change our heading here. Yes. Uh, Grobzilla, yes. You can have uh, failures 
in the in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Yes. Yeah, so the, the first two legs are going to be done today, and then uh, Shefferville up to Iqualit, uh, which is Frobisher Bay. We'll do that one. We'll do that one tomorrow and possibly get the transatlantic hop across into Greenland done tomorrow as well. I would like to be uh, like, ultimately, I would like to be uh, in Greenland, uh, landing in Greenland uh, tomorrow. By the end of stream tomorrow, so we're already over the the northern uh, one of the chunks of the North Atlantic before we fly across Greenland, and then so the next the next leg will be getting up to Frobisher Bay and then across the North Atlantic over to Greenland, and then flying from there flying across Greenland and then hitting Iceland. All right, you know what? We're going to switch over tanks again. All right. Yeah, no hitting. I, oh, my God. LCF, how are you doing, man? How was your weekend? Man, it's beautiful, though. The weather cleared up nicely. I like it. There's Ma way back there. Ma 3101. I'm glad to see that the weather cleared up, though, because I was getting a little concerned that we're going to be dealing with some uh, pretty craptacular weather all the way up. But so far, we seem to be doing pretty good here. All right, so we've switched over to the right tank. YMT, huh? Right, so I mean, if there were, I mean, honestly, if there, if we had to declare any kind of an emergency, if there's any kind of failure, looks like we're relatively close to um, an airfield that we could drop in on. I think. Take off and climb. Lean is required. I freaking love that. Lean is required. All right, so we're almost, we've almost got this trimmed in back on course here. So pop that back to zero four six degrees. Yeah, the weather, the weather definitely, I'm glad that the weather cleared up because I was actually getting really concerned that we we're going to be dealing with some major shit the entire way, but... Um, well, I mean, the reason that I chose, instead of going with the Skyhawk 172, I chose to use the uh, Beechcraft uh, Bonanza G36 was because of the extended flight range. Also, <laughs> the G36 has de-icing, which I felt flying over the North Atlantic, um, doing that hop, could improve our chances of making it, making it across and landing safely in Greenland and then flying across Greenland doing the uh, the hop across to Iceland as well so I was like you know what I want an aircraft that we're gonna have less issues with so instead of doing the 172 I uh, I instead opted in for the Beechcraft I felt I just kind of felt it was gonna be the better option you know what I mean Now I feel the other problem that we might be encountering right now is the reason for the uh, the increased fuel burn is because of the fact that I am flying relatively low altitude, which now that the weather's cleared up, I think I turn vertical speed mode on. We're gonna. Climb to 3000. Alright, 
Oh. Turn on. There we go. Climb to 3,000. Uh, but no, there are no extra snacks, but the in-flight movie is Tron Legacy. So get back, relax, enjoy the film, you know. <laughs> uh, heading of 046 degrees. Oh, I love when you, you just get that drip that just wants to go all the way down the side of the cup. Hey, I'm a huge fan. I'm I'm one of those fans that I remember the original Tron. Loved the movie. Always felt it was worthy of, uh, you know, of a sequel. And then they came out with Tron Legacy, which wasn't so much as a sequel as explaining what happened. You know, sort of filled in the time between Tron Legacy and Sam Flynn coming into his own and what happened at the end of Tron. Right when Kevin Flynn takes takes control of Encom, and then you know builds Encom up what what it is to what it is before he vanishes. Um, Turknip, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. Uh, I, the thing that always has bothered me since then, though, is the on again, off again for a new Tron movie. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Sam got in, Sam got out. He's got the original code hanging around his neck. Like, what happened, you know, what happened with Korra, the whole bit, right? Like, come on. Like, the fans want to know. What's the deal, man? Yeah, I'm going to have to keep an eye on fuel. We, we burned quite a bit of fuel off getting up here, so way more than I was expecting to. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. The third one has been an on-again, off-again kind of project, right? They had cast lined up. They were doing pre-production, and then nothing. And then, you know, it's like buckled a ton. Wait, what? Buckled Adam 9. Oh, BE 36, 1201 feet. Hey, Ma, how you doing? I see you over there, sir. I see you over there. What you flying, sir? Is that the. Is that a caravan? What you flying over there, sir? I see you off the port wing, but, you know. What you flying, sir? Caravan? Nice. Says on two, yeah, the two, uh, the, the, uh, 208B is a nice aircraft. I want to know who Buckled Adam is. Is that, that's t -Vail? Oh, hey! Wait, we've got to be way closer than I thought we were. CYMT. Oh, we are way closer. Nice. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm all right with this. I'm all right with this. We've got fuel to make it then. Okay, yeah. We're we're good. We're good. She's a little choppy up here. One hundred nautical miles out. Nice. There we go. Nice, nice. Now, th okay, that's actually something that I want to. Ninety, yeah, ninety-seven point nine nautical mile. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. I do have live weather on. Gib, hello. How are you? Happy Monday to you. Hope you're well. Chad, if you are just joining us, welcome. I'm Cascade Overload. This is The Grid. Uh, don't get too comfortable with that name because there is going to be some brand changing happening soon. 
But that being said, thanks for checking in. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Doing pretty good. We're, uh, we're just finishing, wrapping up the first 400, 514 nautical mile uh, jaunt up to northern Quebec uh, to uh, Tomaskami, which is a little private airstrip in northern Quebec. And from there, we're going to be heading towards Squaw Lake. Uh, we Today is the first of 84 streams that it's going to take to circumnavigate the world in a Beechcraft Bonanza G36 in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Oh, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. There, there won't be a whole lot of... Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, Warframe going on for the next little bit. I'm just going to... I hate to crush your hopes like that, but, uh, you know. Yeah, the, the live... Listen, this weather is beautiful right now. <laughs> yep, 84 streams how long it's going to take to do this. But if you want to if you want to check out the flight plan for yourself and try to possibly fly certain legs of it, um, exclamation plan provides the link to Sky Vector, which is the uh, site that I use to actually do the flight plan. Thanks, Badger. Appreciate. All right. You know what? Let's... Uh Drop altitude down to about two, uh, yeah, about two thousand. All right, so we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop ourselves down to about two thousand feet. I see you over there, Ma. I see you. And TVL up ahead of us. 90 nautical miles out. Dropping down to an altitude of 2,000 feet. How's our fuel looking? All right, right tank is emptying out pretty good. Uh, let's jump out here. What's our fuel sitting at? We're sitting at 34 per 34% fuel in the tanks. So we hit some we hit some pretty crappy weather on the way up here uh, on this first leg. But um, all things considered, there was a little bit of an extended fuel burn, unfortunately, because of some of the weather. Uh, some of the wind was not favorable. But all in all, we seem to be doing pretty good here. Hey, Ma, are you, uh, you running, uh, AP or are you, uh, manual stick? And by the way, I'm going to change that command because that's supposed to be the flight plan can be found here, not can be here. <laughs> Jesus. English what? Words? Difficulties? Auto? Nice. Yeah, I figured it was probably for the best. I mean, I will be when we when we start flying over stuff like Greenland or like Iceland, I'm going to I'm going to manual stick that. The the flight from one side of Iceland to the other is going to be manual stick. Um when we fly across the Faroe Islands, it's going to be can't see either of you. All right, TVL, cheers man. We'll see you in a few. All right, we're still dropping down to 2,000 feet. We're just about to hit 2,500. Uh, we'll throw the decrease vertical. We'll we'll drop the vertical speed down a little bit here. Just speed speed up the process of getting down to 2,000. We are currently 84 nautical miles out. All right, so I want to bring this around to 049 degrees. All 
All right, we're good. Co-pilot is Jul Julie Hagerty from Airplane. What, is that a mod? That's gotta be a mod. Has to be a mod. <laughs> I know what you mean though. I know you're just messing around, Ma. It's all good. Don't worry. It's all good. I understand. I get it. All right, we're almost two. We've almost brought her down to two thousand. God, that's gorgeous. So look at this. I'm like, why do I have flaps? As they adjust themselves out, I'm like, oh, right, autopilot, duh. That's part of the VRS. <laughs> Shit. Why are my flaps in takeoff? They're supposed to be up. No wonder I've been burning so much effing fuel. How in the hell did I end up doing that? Jesus, Grobzilla, thank goodness you got that drinking problem under control, right? Thanks. <laughs> That's just watering eyes. <laughs> well, that explains a little bit how that explains. Okay, so apparently somewhere along the line, I was flipping things and I accidentally hit that. Because Twitch Dad's an idiot. All right, 78 nautical miles out. Bearing zero five zero degrees. Ooh, she's getting breezy. Experiencing a little bit of chop chat. <laughs> it's all good, don't worry. Don't worry. Hey Ma, what happened to you? You're looking a little off course there, brother. Oh, we found, woo, these aren't just dirt roads, this one's paved. Holy sheet. We found a paved road all the way up here? God damn. Yes, the caravan has fixed wheels, that is correct. Yeah, you're, listen, you're, you, the caravan always looks like the gear is down because it's fixed gear. <laughs> yeah, Grobzilla, Northern Quebec has some beautiful, beautiful view. Well, that definitely explains the extended fuel burn and why my airspeed was a little off. I'm like, yo. means I can actually throttle back just a hair then too. Keep it down around 170-ish. Oh, I see you. I see you in the Beechcraft 30, the BE-36. Hey, t -Vale, did uh, restarting uh, Flight Sim work for sh us showing up on the map? Nope. Ah, that's weird that it didn't sh like, and that's the thing. It's, this is one of the, my only real major complaint about Microsoft flight sim. Chicago's airport has 100 runways. So they have so yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Try change. Yeah. Try changing from live players to see all. Yes. Good point, Badger. Thank you. What the F -E -F, F is going on here? This is some weird looking shit. Those trees are looking awful dark. Ah, uh, what the? I hope that's actually supposed to be water down there and this is just some kind of weird mesh issue. Because otherwise, what the hell? It's gotta be water. No, it's not.
Okay, I'm... I'm guessing that would make that bog. Could you imagine if that's all peat? That's all peat bog? Like, holy shit. It's insanity. Or we're 67 nautical... 67.5 nautical miles out. All right, first leg of the trip is almost complete. Uh, no. That is definitely... Northern Quebec isn't known for super mountainous areas. I would actually have to look at the topo... Like, look at an up-to-date topographical map, but... My guess is it looks more like floodplain because this area of Quebec is notorious for flooding it's definitely not cliffs or canyons but it does actually look like areas where there's supposed to be water you are flying in 100% pure peat bog stench. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Give me that peat. <laughs> I'm like looking around trying to find Ma. I'm like, where? Oh, he, oh, he behind me now. Okay. TVL still up in front. All right, we're almost there. First leg is almost complete. How's our fuel looking? She's a little dicey, baby. I'm gonna cut back on throttle just a hair. We're down to 29% fuel. Ooh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this fuel. I think we should be all right, but... I'll be switching over to the left tank soon anyway, so. All right, so yeah, very soon I'll be switching over to the left tank. Nice coat. I think you wore it once last year. All right, 58 nautical miles out. Almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're almost done the first leg of this. I really have to keep an eye on the fuel, though, because we're... Like I said, we're down to the last 29% of the tank. Um, part of the part of the reason for that was uh, I goofed and for some reason had my flaps in takeoff position. <laughs> part of the way through the trip, so we burned off way more fuel than I was expecting to. But we have corrected for that, so hopefully we've got enough to make it in and, la and land at... Land where we're supposed to, which is let's follow this line down here. So C R T two is the first leg. Which is Riviere Tamaskami, which is a private airfield in northern Quebec. Whew. It's looking a little dicey there. Right, so you know we're we're kind of close to the ground. I might want to. You know what? Maybe we're gonna increase. <laughs> maybe we're gonna increase our altitude just by an additional two hundred, just in case. Just, 
just to give us a little added extra breathing room, okay? So I'm really not big on smacking into a tree this close. Black Fox 403, shall I put SAR on alert 5? No. No, leave Maverick on the deck. Just, 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 listen. <laughs> Maver Maverick's not allowed up here, okay? <laughs> We're good, don't worry, we're good. Black Fox, welcome, how are you? Hope you're having a good Monday. By the way, chat. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> All right, 51 nautical miles out. I think we, we should be all right. Yeah, we're down to, yeah, I think we'll be all right. Um, I am definitely gonna be switching the fuel tank over though. Yeah, we're gonna switch this back to the left. Keep this balanced. Keep the bird balanced, baby. How far? Hey, Ma, how far behind are you? Like, how far away are you from uh, our, our, our RLZ right now from the airfield? I know uh, TVL sitting on the airfield right now. Got home to the heat wave in West Coast. Oh my God! Yeah, the the West Coast is getting hammered hard right now. You're 50 nautical miles. Okay, so you're. All right, so you're only two, uh, two nautical mile behind me. Gotcha. Roger that. Ah, pretty good. We're on the first leg of our uh, global circumnavigation in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 with the Beechcraft Bonanza G36. How are you doing, DeRoyter? How was your weekend? <clears throat> Park near the start of the western end of the runway. Gotcha. Roger that. 91 in LA. Oof. Oof. Am I Mr. Government today or Robot Bestie? Okay. My, I have two, my, my eldest daughter has two names for me. I'm either her Robot Bestie or Mr. Government. Depends on the day, I guess. Depends on my tone. 44 Celsius by 4 p.m. Oof. Heck no. It is 22 degrees where I am right now. And I live in Ontario. And yeah, I'm, listen, but over the weekend, it felt tropical here. Because Friday, 92% humidity. <laughs> it was like 27 degrees Celsius with 92% humidity. It was one of those who walked outside and felt wet. Saturday, it was like, Stupidly, like I think it was like 86% humidity, and again, 27 degrees. It was just oh, it was gross. Like when you walk outside and you feel wet, and it's not you, whether it's raining or not, you just feel wet. It's nasty. I like dry heat, like it could be 30 degrees Celsius outside if it's dry, like it's below 50% humidity. I'm happy. I can handle that. The humidity, though? Hell no. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh, hell no. Nuh-uh. 42 nautical miles. We're almost there. Keep flooding and fires. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a great time to start. What a great time to the summer season. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer the dry heat. Uh, I'm 100%. Like, when we... Now, granted, it sucks because then you end up with grass. It ends up brown, dry, and crispy. The trees start dropping leaves because, you know, they're trying to protect themselves from drought and shit like that, right? It sucks, but... With wildfires by San Bernardino. Oof. Yeah, Texas. We're freezing our balls off here, Canada. He's effing to... Yeah, listen. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Should have stayed on deployment longer. <laughs> Where were you deployed? 
if you don't mind me asking. If you can talk about it. Yeah, right? Yeah, Black Fox. Dude, <laughs> 100%. Let's go. Hey, I'm going to actually just even fly because the next the next uh, bit of this flight is going to be uh, out of this airstrip up to Squaw Lake from Squaw Lake up to Frobisher Bay. You were asked to apply for a job at Linden. Why not? I mean, they need good developers. It's not necessarily a terrible idea. All right, we're doing pretty good on fuel. We got enough fuel. We've got the fuel to make this. Thirty-seven nautical mile out. Okay. Is that snow down there? Uh, no. Nope, that would be sand. That's not snow, that is sand. <laughs> oh, you already did, dude. Fingers crossed, man. But yeah, that is not snow. That is actually sand. <laughs> it's like, is that snow? No. We're not that far north. We're not that far north, Ma. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to 2 to 4 p.m. when it is supposed to be 46 Celsius before humidity? Holy shit. Wow. Badger, dude. Omega 38K. How you doing? What's the app on the bottom right? So the map is, uh, the map down in the bottom right hand corner is courtesy of Sim Toolkit Pro. They have a little thing that's built in to allow for, to uh, give you some streaming overlay. So the information up at the very top of the screen in the middle and the map over there is courtesy of that. And it literally just creates a local browser, browser source that you just then put into OBS. C172 Skycock, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. Love the name. Oh my. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Love the name. See <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I see it. Yeah, I love Sim Toolkit Pro. I only just started using it, but I love it. Omega 38K, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. I was able to bloom. <laughs> Wait, how? Okay, you you need to. We require. I require context. How did you blue screen the PC with Microsoft Flight Sim? What were you doing that cost this? Thirty nautical miles out from our first uh, from the uh, airfield on our first leg. 4K native. Ooh. What's the biz, dude? It's just a black box. Can't see the map itself. That's interesting. Are you watching on mobile? What's the biz? That might actually be why. Let me see if I can change that. Let's uh, let's go to light colored. Holy shit. That's way further in than I was expecting. There. Hopefully that works a little bit better. Uh, Second Life is an online game. Um, but let's just say it'll never be streamed on this channel because there is a lot of very adult content through it. Yeah, that's the only downside I find about this, is there's supposed to be a way to actually set this map so it's light. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of a question mark. <laughs> I'm going to fiddle around with this a little bit tonight and see if I can get it. Second life is not a lot. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, that's better. Dark, but better. Yeah. No, Twitch does not allow it. 
It's no bueno. There's a lot of very adult con uh, content on it. All right, we're 25 nautical miles out from our fir from the end of our first hop. You're crashing, uh, crashing at sim crossings every 64 meters. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, the, the problem is, though, is, again, the reason, and I understand why Twitch doesn't allow uh, a title such as Second Life to be streamed is because of the adult nature of a lot of the content, right? And they just, and yeah, their, per, their world system, I've tried it. Yes, yeah, the G36, uh, the G36 Bonanza, yep, yeah, or sorry, Beachcraft Bonanza G36, holy crap, words are difficult. How are we doing on fuel? 24%, my, you still hanging in there? I see you, I see you. Man's just off at my seven o'clock. We got buckled Adam at our twelve o'clock. He's already on. The, he's already on deck. He was a. He was about an hour ahead of me. We had some difficulties taking off earlier, and we're about seven minutes out. Hey GP, how are you doing? Engines powered down. Waiting. Awesome. I have gear to clean. All right, Black Fox. Cheers, man. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And hopefully, please, for the love of all things holy, do not melt. <laughs> Amaranth stream and her video. Yeah, right? Exactly. Uh, LK, right? <laughs> I'm guessing LK2PRGM stands for like to program. I'm just hedging. Uh, listen, I'm just throwing out a guess there. What's okay, biz? What's the biz? What's the temperature where you are right now? Airlock Doc, how's it going? Thanks for having closed captions. Yeah, Airlock Doc, thank you so much for that. Uh, I will be sure to actually add that in for the closed captions. Thank you. Holy crap, the only time I get a name right. <laughs> Damn. Twenty-seven degrees inside and rather moist. Oh, that was that was our weekend. Ninety-one Fahrenheit, but real is ninety-seven. Oof. Ooh, custom license plates, man. That's some bougie shit right there. I like it. Oh, come on, closed captioning. I said bougie. <laughs> All I want for the love of everything imaginable is a closed captioning system that actually understands basic freaking English 36 Celsius that was Saturday for us someone bring me food no get your own damn food growing pain you can get your own damn food you're a grown-ass adult you are, are an EMT you are a medical professional sir you can't tell me you are incapable of getting your own goddamn food how close are we, anyway? 15 nautical miles. Nice. We're getting there. We're getting there, baby. There we go. First leg completed. CRT2. We are about to get on the ground. Yeah, um, the, the one that I currently have is actually a plug-in for OBS Studio. And it's rough. It, it's, it's rough. You have shins? How in the hell? Like to program? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. How in the hell did you end up with shin splints? 1099 BRB. All right. All right, Ma. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I've had shin splints. They suck. They are incredibly painful. And the feeling, the feeling of your shins constantly on fire is a beautiful feeling that I feel that everybody should be exposed to at least once in their life. Not. Listen, I'm not, listen, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not one of those masochistic people, okay? I don't wish that kind of pain on anyone. Even people I dislike, I wouldn't wish that on. <clears throat> Alright, we're yeah, we still got a. Hey, we're down to twenty-two percent. Still got fuel in the tanks. We got enough to make the get this bird on the ground. 
Um, before we make our final descent, I think I am going to switch over to a right tank, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I did not program this into Sim Toolkit Pro. <laughs> We're going to rectify that for the next leg, though. So on the um, the ARR route and all of that works. All right, roger that. So now it's position. Charlie Romeo Tango 2 traffic flint 1710 miles southwest 2200 feet inbound to land okay. runway 28. All right, runway 28. Uh, let me get my Sky Vector flight plan up. By the way, if you guys want to follow along or want to try this flight on your own, um, I do currently have the flight plan. It's exclamation plan. Um, I set everything up through Sky Vector. Thanks to Reuter. Letting your inner cat loose. Yeah, shredding paper. Why are you shredding papers? I'm smelling a conspiracy. All right, we're gonna bank to zero. Uh, crap, I don't like how it does that sometimes. Zero five five degrees. Also watched a kid run, outrun the cops last night. What? Wait, 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 wait. Or the tweaker that overdosed at the top of the world's tallest parking garage and I had to lug gear up because, oh, Jesus, man. Sounds like you had a bit of a rough, uh, rough weekend. All right, let's set for approach. There we go. Rivier Tamaskami. Yes, the purple line is the route, Gib. Yeah, I'm buying something fun next weekend. So what are you buying? What are you buying that's going to be fun? I'm like, does this thing even know what the hell it's doing right now? Okay, okay, no, it's... Alright, it's... It's set for approach. Charlie Romeo Tango 2 traffic Flynn 173 miles Not telling, because you'll say... Growing pain? Sir, I swear to God. Growing pain. <laughs> Okay. Wow, that is just... Woo! When I pick them, I pick them. Oh, boy. Uh, what's the biz? This is, um... The, uh, Harris Heller. Uh, this is the Stream Beats Lo-Fi. Love this guy's work, by the way. All right, so what are we doing here? Excuse me, sir. Are you, what are you doing here? Okay, we're gonna turn heading off. Oh no, I want heading off and I want approach on. Uh, what's the runway? The runway is basically a dirt field. All right, you know what? We're going to, I'm going to disengage here. I'm going to disengage auto, autopilot and do this myself because some of this, 
And I don't have the fuel to be messing around with this shit. Alright, take a manual. Autopilot is off. Controls are officially mine. Okay, we're going to set flaps for landing. Drop, drop speed. Maz landed nice. Pilot must be two feet tall. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a hand flying approach. I can't have airspeed drop too low. I'll set flaps up a little bit here so I can gain a little bit of extra airspeed. Pilot must be two feet tall. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this, this, this is a... This is kind of... Listen, some of this is kind of suspect, all right? All right, let's... Reduce airspeed. Gear. I'm coming in from the opposite end, but I really don't care. I realize I'm supposed to be coming on 2-8, but... Meh. Okay, there we go. Right tank. We're good. Okay. Oh, Lord. I just use pliers for shit like that. Okay, flaps up to landing. This is going to be dicey, ladies and gents. Okay, I'm trying to get myself ready for the to break when I hit the hit the ground. Five source, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome. Happy Monday to you. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. She's gonna get it a little dicey here, guys. Ooh, there we go. Pedals were giving me a little heck. Oh, keep her, keep her. Keep, nose up, pard. Nose up. Oh, just clear the trees. Clear the trees. Clear the trees. Let's go. Come on. Nice and easy. We're fine. Listen, we made it, okay? I don't hear no bullshit. GP's like, crash! 
We did not crash. No crashing. <laughs> hey, OC, how are you doing, man? Oh, boy. Is this what the upper room looks like? Pretty much. <laughs> Some, see, Papa, yeah, there was no crashing. That death, <laughs> that, that death in the trees written all. Shut up, Grob. Listen. This is why I'm not a pilot IRL, okay? <laughs> Straight to parking, that's real skill, right? Let's just go, let's go, let's go. All right, we're on the ground. Poof. Can't announce, I can't announce uh, t uh, clear of runway just yet. Let's get up here. Hey, Fran, how's it going? I just felt the earth shake below me, rough landing somewhere, 1.3 on the Richter scale in Vancouver. Yeah, she was a little, she was a little sketchy, but we didn't, hey, we, we hit the ground, we're still alive, nothing's broken, no GP, no. Listen, autopilot crashed us at the very start, and that was because dad had a mod installed that I probably should not have, because every time I try to use it, it breaks shit. Ooh, this is a dicey place, man. Okay. All right. Good enough for this bloke. Is that parking brake? Oof. Oof. I'm calling this clear. I'm listen, I'm calling this clear. Charlie Romeo Tango, two traffic <laughs> wind, is clear in the runway. Yeah, Fran, dude, this is going to take some time. It's going to take 84 streams to pull this off. But I am super freaking stoked for it. I should have I turn off panel lights. I didn't even. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Pedo heat off. All right. Wait, why did it not pop me out? What am I missing here? There's something missing here that is not. Why did it not just automatically say, okay, you're done this part. Uh, exclamation plan, Fran, will actually give you the entire flight plan that I have, uh, that I set up through Sky Vector. Everything's off, so why did it not? I want talk. listen, I want tacos too, okay? Oh, I bet I know what, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for submitting this. I'm responding to let you know that I've received your submission. We've received a very healthy amount of interest in the last few days, so we've got quite a bit to sort through. Once we've been able to sort through everything, we may reach out to you for more information. Please feel free to respond with any additional information questions you may have. That's actually really good. And dude, I'm jealous that you just ate a steak. Come on. You can't. All right, you know what? Let's. 
I don't understand why this has not already said, hey, you're done your first leg. Okay, let's try this again. Seriously, you're going to be that snippy about it. So there is apparently something that I must be missing that it's not. All right, that's fine. Um, well, it's because I'm doing it in, in, in like, and that's the thing. So leg one, like the entire leg one is going to be from here. We're going to be doing up to Shefferville. Okay, so we'll close that. Um, so we're here. Why is it not? Maybe somebody can explain this to me. So we're already here. Right, so we're at CRT2. So my question is, why is it not continuing on from that? It's gotta be because this is a little out of the way place. That's the only that's the only explanation I can think of is because this airfield is so backwards. They probably don't even have ATC here. The problem. <laughs> Listen, this is a private airfield, anyways. You would probably have to like, like, know somebody owns this freaking place. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna fill. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Sim Toolkit Pro. New landing report. Landing recorded. All right. Um, VR, VFR planning. Let's go to flight planning here. Open VFR planning. Okay. What I would really love is if it actually... Okay, so I can't... Oh. Oh. This is a pain in the ass. So this is what I'm currently dealing with with Flight Sim Toolkit or uh, Sim Toolkit Pro right now. Is trying to locate where I am on this map in comparison to the actual Sky Vector flight plan. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. All right, so we just flew from, woo, down here. Ah, there we go. That looks right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, there we go. So this is where we are. Depart. So the next leg of this trip, uh, we're heading up to Squaw Lake. So uh, CYKL. And that's the only, I oh man, I wanna be able to. All right, so Squaw Lake. Oh. CYKW, I need CYKL. There we go, CYKL. Perfect. Squall Lake. All right. 
Okay, there we go. Export for F FMS plan. F um, no. Missing the information required to set up the flight. Please ensure an aircraft is selected. Oh, okay. So, ah, uh, okay. So, uh, G thirty six C Y G one one seven. Flight number one seven. And we'll set cruising speed for one sixty knots. Okay. There we go. There we go. Tanks are filled. Clouds, yeah, I'm noticing that we've got... Uh, go ahead, Muba, or uh, Nuts Life, thanks for asking. I have beer and media on board? Oh my god, of course you do. Of course you do, Ma. Of course you do. All right. Let's get this bird started, shall we? All right, let's... RPM mixer control. Bottle just... Like four percent laps to take off. Uh, let's get our lights, our takeoff lights. Okay, Magneto's are both. Caution. What do we got? Nothing for alerts. What? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm an idiot. Left fuel tank. All right. Fuel's full. Oil pressure. Oil pressure's good. Oil temp. Free the free caps. Listen. Listen. Can't free the caps, okay? Turn on panel lights. Actually, we don't need taxi lights. We do need those. Uh, we're going to leave... We'll turn pedo heat on. Okay, we'll leave it off for now. All right, alternator master one and master two are on. There we go. Pedo heat's on. There we go. We're good. We're good. You're messing with my Zen. Ensign Weasley Badger, thank you so much. I give in that tier one sub to Ma2112. Ma, welcome back to the sub club. Enjoy your emotes. 21 months, by the way. You need to get out of bed. Yeah, that might be a great idea. All right. So, um, our next chunk here. How do I set this up, by the way?
Okay, so... How, in the actual F, do I change this out? Like, it doesn't... Ah, oh, that's the problem. It doesn't give me... Oh, uh, I want to cancel this flight plan. It won't let me nav- Why won't it let me navigate the MFD? You're kidding me, right? Put a button at the bottom. Uh, I'm looking at the display. Little button on the bottom right is either enter. Uh, okay, so you want to actually hit ENT. Got it, got it. Okay, so we want to delete that. Okay. And I want to do. All right, so, how in the hell? All right, so. I've never done this, so, you know, it's like. I'm actually. See, this is the other thing, too, is why is that not actually. Press the F M S C S C R S R knob to return to the base page. See, so you press that and it's not doing it. I'm like, bro, don't don't bullshit me. <laughs> okay, set direct course to. Um, so we are going to be setting uh, on our way to CYKL. See? Um, how? In, okay, so that's the other thing. So, how in the hell am I supposed to type in the freaking navigational information? How in the shit are you supposed to do this? Okay, flight plan. I'd very much like to know how to... Okay. Ident. You're kidding, right? No, you're... We're literally burning fuel here because I can't figure this shit out. What's on the caution? What's on the alerts? The upper part of that knob on the lower Lower right, upper part. Okay, so that's the navigate, but. Oh, you mean this? Holy crap, this is convoluted as shit. <laughs> Lower right, not upper right. Okay, so that's for that. Holy crap, that is a pain in the butt. All right, now that I, okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I'm such a freaking noob right now. And dirt. No, not yet, no.
Okay, C. I would very much like to go to the next one. Thank you. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I feel stupid. Now I feel like an idiot. CYKL. I got this. I got it. I got it. I finally figured it out. I'm an idiot. Yep. Okay. Okay, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Now we're set. Now we're set. We're good. We're good. We're good. Dad's got to figure it out. We're good. All right. Let's get let's get this bird in the air, shall we? Okay. Bound for Shefferville. Okay, flaps are set to take off. Oh, come on. Get in the air, you bird. Come on, come on. Clear the trees. You're up. Oh. Flaps. Whew. Hey, Nugs, how you doing? Lurking in the aircraft, quietly laughing. Oh, so we found our gremlin. Okay. We found the gremlin. Got it. Hey, Nugs, how you doing, man? Whoo, she's a little bumpy. This is a little sketchy, by the way. Woo! Alright, can we at least get up to about 2,000 feet? Actually, let's... Except for 2,500. Montreal Center, Flynn 17 is Type Beechcraft B36, 2 miles east of Charlie Romeo Tango to 2,100 feet. All right, we want... Request, flight following. All right. Flynn 17, Montreal Center. Squawk 5746. Squawk 5746, Flynn 17. Flynn 17, radar contact 3 miles east of Charlie Romeo Tango to 2,400 feet. Okay, so Roger Flynn, one seven. Doing pretty good. Tville, you're airborne? Alright, there we go. So we're on our way to Shefferville. Uh, I'm gonna bring this around to zero five eight degrees. And we are now officially 614.7 nautical miles out from our next destination. So leg two. Poof. All right. You know what? The thing is, though, is I'm learning. There's there's some of the stuff I've never done before. I've never learned. And I'm actually, you know what? The fact that I'm taking the time to actually learn some of this stuff now, I think is really going to overall improve. <laughs> Um, the, uh, <coughs> the flying around here. Alright, so I'm gonna set altitude, uh, not for 3400, we're gonna... Let's 
go for 3,000. All right, we'll set, uh, yeah, we're gonna set vertical speed for 200 up. With no banking, that's better. Yeah, I don't doubt, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, see, DCS World, I've taken the time to really learn the controls of a lot of those aircraft. Now, the beautiful thing is about, especially flying GA, is a lot of the, the, the systems are pretty much, they're all, like, they're all very similar from aircraft to aircraft, right? Whereas when you're dealing with fighter aircraft, no one single, other than the basics of flight, no one single instrumentation system is exactly the same. You go from an FA-18 Super Hornet to an F-16C, the basics are the same, but everything else is completely different. Like, is like, holy crap. Like, the going from the F-14A to an F-5E. The basic flight systems are the same, but everything else is completely different because you've got a completely different electronic suite from aircraft to aircraft. You've got different weapon systems. You've got different arming systems. It's like, holy shit, right? Like, now flight has never been a big problem for me. I'm actually, flying is one of the things that I'm actually not terrible at when it comes to sim gaming. That being said, I've never really dialed, especially with uh, Flight Sim 2020, I've never spent the time to actually get to know a lot of the controls, like really dial in on how to use the screens, how to set up flight plans without having to go into the menu all the time and do that stuff like that way right so it's like this is actually very interesting to me and I'm glad that it's now showing the flight plane on the screen for you guys too that's actually cool estimated time is a minute 45 uh, an hour 45 All right, let me, yeah, no, that's good. That's good, okay, map. Um, we're gonna set to auto follow. Thank you. Let's show the ATC coverage if, if it'll do that. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna do that. Damn, that's a shame. Let's auto zoom and see what happens. All right, well, that's not terrible. Uh, I'm on a heading of 058 degrees, Ma. 058. All right, I'm just looking at the... Let's go with VFR map. Or what's the satellite? Oh, the satellite map looks nice, but... Go with the VFR map and all right, well, CRT two to CYKL speed is one seventy eight knots. Well, that's actually not quite correct. There we go, yeah, one seventy knots, okay. Altitude is 2,914 feet. Heading of, it says heading of 035 degrees, but that's not correct. Oh, it's not showing all the info. Okay, I understand why. Not all the information is actually, okay. All right, all right. So some of it is, shows some of the information, but not all of the information. And I just realized some of it's being cut off. So I'm going to fix that right now while we're on the floor. Because we've already got things set up. So I'm going to change that. So let's go with... First and foremost. Uh, let me check something here really quick, guys. I'm just trying to fix... Light colored. Now let's go with the alternative.
Yeah, that zooms in a little bit better. Okay. Now all I have to do is... How's that? Is that a little bit better for everyone? Can you see that a little bit clearer? With the light colored and see what it does. Is that a little bit easier for everyone to see? Nav hold was my banking issue. That's cleaner. Gaming guitarist, thanks, man. Yeah, if that's a little bit cleaner for everyone, then I'll stick with that. Uh, that's a little too far out, isn't it? Let's... All right, so that's working better. Now all I have to do is make a slight adjustment to the top here. So bear with me, guys. Dad's doing a thing. That is way more information than we started with at the start. It's not quite centered though. That kind of triggers me a little bit. Let me uh, let me work on centering that a little bit better. There we go. That's better. Much happier with that. That looks better. Oof. I'm making a flight stick holder for my wheel stand while I wait for the new wheel to arrive. Ooh, that's it. That's. Train's like, yes. Everybody's like, oh my god, that's so much better. Thank you. Right, the only thing is, it's saying we're on a heading of three, three, four degrees, but we're actually, as you can see here, we're currently on a heading of zero, five, eight degrees. Right, menu. Oh, what? What? Nope, 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 nope. Why won't this? Okay, why is this not allowing me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Lord help me. Lord have mercy. Alright, that's the flight plan. Thank you. Activate leg. Okay. All right, I would very much like this to just turn into the full screen map. That'd be great. I wonder if the API to the overlay is stuck. Um, well, some of this stuff is, you know, relatively new. So, I mean, it's a possibility.
So the only thing I'm trying to figure out now is why Yeah, some of it's in alpha, like the VFR, the VFR flight planning is still in an alpha state. So, I mean, there's still a lot of these tools that obvi for obvious reasons, it's going to be, you know, it's going to, it's going to take time. All right. It looks like we're on track though. So that's, that's the important part. Flaps are actually up. Good. Uh, we're going to drop propeller RPM down to 90. Throw that down to 90 for mixer control. We're not burning fuel like a freaking stuck pig now, so that's bonus. I will set heading to 062 degrees. And it looks like we've leveled out at a cruising speed of about a hundred and yeah, 170 knots. Boom. I totally didn't die twice when playing the freaking tutorial for the Witcher. So, I mean, the thing, yeah, so the thing is the, the overlay might be stuck. That's not a big, it's really not such a big deal. Geralt's biggest weakness, fall damage. <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, how are we doing? All right, there's TVL over there. Looks like it's Ma right behind us. Uh, we're currently cruising at an altitude of three three thousand feet. Um, we are going to change that though. Let's set for four thousand vertical speed up two hundred, and I'm in a bank again. Oh my god! That does not sound good. The tutorial, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, now here's the thing. Speaking about tutorials, you know what would be fantastic? Dark Souls. Dark Souls needs. Dark Soul. Dark Souls needs. And I mean needs. A tutorial. <laughs> they really don't tell you shit. They just kind of throw you under the bus and be like, yo, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so you're stuck in a constant right bank. Is it possible that there's something... What do you use for flying, by the way, TVL? To set a curiosity. Like, what flight setup... What kind of a flight setup do you have? Because I'm wondering if... Is it possible it might be something with the equipment? That's causing that? I just want to know how they have to get this to go back over to the regular map. Because this is starting to really... Piss me off! I just want the full map, please. Is there a button that says full screen? I would love that. I love that, okay? I just... I just want a full screen. Just a button. You just push on it and it says full screen. Bustmaster TCA Airbus Edition side stick. Well, then, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the heck. 117 contact Montreal Center on 119 or decimal 4. Going to 119 or decimal 4, Flynn. 17. Montreal Center, Flynn, 173. Uh, no checklist, manage radio comms, that's fine. Flynn, 17, Montreal Center, altimeter, 29 or decimal, 77, continue as planned. Alright. 
29.77, huh? Okay, um, let's set. Two nine decimal seven seven. Okay. Okay, we're set. We're just cresting thirty five hundred feet. We're getting into a little bit of cloud up here. On our way, leg two, we're on our way to uh, Shefferville. Calibrated the stick recently. Yeah, that might be something. Also, when you're not doing what you're supposed to do in the tutorial, the NPCs, yes, the NPCs will not let you forget that you're supposed to be doing the damn tutorial. That's the object of it. I don't know, Thrustmaster, like, I don't have any calibration stuff, but it could be through Windows. It's possible it might have to, you might have to run through the Windows calibration tool. Siri and Vesemir, shut up already. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to have you shit talking Siri. You leave Siri alone. Coming up on 276 nautical miles. How far back are you, Ma? You're on 276? Uh, I'm at 262. Two seventy five. How in the heck am I on 262? You look like you're actually at ahead of me. Interesting. See, so yeah, heading is 062 degrees, by the way. Child Siri was a little shit. Yeah, listen, yeah, grown up Siri is cool as hell. You're right, Child Siri is a little bit of a bitch. She's, she's a beach. All right, let's see if this is working now. Okay, there we go, right? Okay. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I love it. Oh, oh. God, that's so good. God, that is good. I love that, man. You have no idea how good that is. Um, actually, I'm going to show network. Turn that off. Um, flight phase. I'm going to show that off. Shut that off. Uh, vertical. Uh, you know what? I'll leave the FP. I'll leave the vertical speed. I'll leave that. The only downside is now there's this weird yeah it's got to be uh it's got to be something to do with the okay let me refresh that part of the overlay then that doesn't look right refresh Okay, now there's this giant freaking long ass. <laughs> I'm like, nope, we're gonna get rid of that. Cause that'll bother me if I don't. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 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 do. And then center that, recenter that. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Boom, done. Yeah, that's that's exactly what we're going for. Around the world in 84 streams. I thought you said air robbery. 
Why would I have said air robbery? Okay, what are we getting a warning on here? Oil pressure's good. Temp is good. RPMs. All right, you know what? Let's extra two percent on RPM. Select a waypoint weather. Okay. That's a little bit better. It still doesn't give me full screen on the map. Big J, my man, Big J. How are you doing, sir? How's your Monday been so far? I hope you're doing well. All right, so we are 248 nautical miles out from Shefferville. We're on leg two of the round the world in 84 streams. Flying the Beechcraft Bonanza G36. Giggity goo. We've had a little, little bit of problem here and there. We had a bit of a problem at the very start. It was because of the, um, <laughs> the Garmin G1000 and the Garmin G3000. Plus, the, um, the, uh, the, the, they're mods, but apparently they're supposed to make them more functional, more realistic. Yeah, well, that didn't quite work out the way I'd hoped. It actually became more of a problem when you're doing approximately a 10 degree banking turn and you're at an altitude of 2,500 feet and you're only doing 160 knot, like knots speed. And it said I overstressed the aircraft. 10 degree banking, turn to the left. 160 knots speed, and we're at 2,500 feet. And apparently I overstressed the aircraft. And every time I've tried to use the G1000, G3000 mods, and any of the community stuff to improve the overall, um, like improve some of the aspects of the G36. Every time I've used them, it breaks the fucking airplane every single freaking time. So I'm like, yo, I got rid of those, dealt with it, done. But yeah, Jay, we're on the uh, second leg of the tour. Uh, if you actually do, so first and foremost, for anybody who's interested, exclamation plan, that is the link to Sky Vector with the actual uh, flight plan that I've set up to do this around the world trip. Received an award just now, got a hat. Dude, that's awesome. Nice, DeRoyter, very nice. Awesome news, man. Um, Also, also, this is my personal favorite. That's the current leg that we're on. So we're flying out from CRT2 to CYKL. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is CRT2? Well, let me show you. Hit departure. There you go. Riviere Tamaskami. It's a private airstrip in Northern Quebec. And if you're wondering our location where we're headed to CYKL, well, we have a command for that too. We're heading to Shefferville, otherwise known as Squaw Lake. And this is the second leg of our uh, around the world in 84 streams. 
Uh, we flew when we uh, left Billy Bishop Airport um, in Toronto. Sh weather was a little questionable. Best way to put it. The weather was questionable. But since then, the weather's actually cleared up. As we flew further, like, deeper into uh, northern Quebec, the weather got considerably better. And as you can see, we've got that beautiful, nice information, info, infomatic screen at the very top there. Showing our heading and all the information required. Plus the, the nice map over on that side. <laughs> yeah, dad doing something questionable. Oh my. When am I not doing something questionable? That's the better question. But Jay, my man, Big Jay, thank you so much for tuning in. And by the way, folks, if you are not following Big J1030 or, or sorry, 0130, oh my God, I keep doing that. Or what's the biz? You're doing it wrong. Drop them a follow, please. Howdy, thank you so much for the shout out. Appreciate it. That's right, Big J, the last time he was live, he was rocking a little bit of Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. If you ever want to watch somebody who is solid with flyby wires A320, Big J's your guy. Go check him out. Big J, uh, that, that, the, the, uh, the Airbus A320 is his most flown aircraft. I'm pretty sure it is the only aircraft he flies in. Ma, thank you so much for the 85 cheer. Thank you so much for the triangles. Appreciate ya. Our uh, Ma's just over there. Where's Where's TVL? TVL's over there. Nice, nice, very nice. So we've got a couple of community members currently flying along with us. TVL and uh, Ma. Ma's just off our uh, port wing here. We're off his just off his starboard wing, and uh, TVL is uh, basically. I I if I had to guess, I would say he's at our uh, eleven o'clock position. Off the port, off the port wing, and that's right, Biz. If you ever want to watch some DCS World shenanigans, go check out what's the Biz. He's been putting in a lot of time with that F-14A. Man loves his Tomcat. How far along are we? Wow, we're around. Wow, we are almost up to five hours live. That is very nice, very nice. Yeah, that's right. TVL's TVL's on point. TVL's, TVL's on point, baby. That's right. All right, let's see what we got going on down here. How's our fuel? All right, well, actually, we're, we're not burning through fuel nearly as fast as we were last time. the hell is VNV? All right, bearing of 063. Roger that. Okay, we need to get ourselves up to... I don't know why we dropped down, but... I need to get up to 4,000 feet. So let's hit 4,000. Selected waypoint weather. What? I don't care about this. Let's go. Why am I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I way off point here? Why is this telling me to go uh, bearing a 63 degrees? Jesus, this thing's got us all over the place. Yeah, I'm 225 nautical mile out. Ma, what are you sitting at? All 
Uh, actually, let's throw that to zero five six degrees. Oh, Maz, Maz, listen, Maz jumping ahead. I don't know what happened there. Man seems to be jumping ahead. All right, we're at 4,000. Uh, why are we climbing to 4,200? All right, let's... Why are we still climbing? Turn V and V mode off. So vertical speed seems to be broken. Okay, so it's trying to do... Are you kidding me? So apparently this seems to be stuck on... Um, 200 up and 200 down. Okay. If I can get this to actually hit 4,300 steady, then we're good. It's being kind of dumb right now. Did, did we lose Ma? Go to 4,000 retry and retry to do VS. Yeah, I'm wondering, if, well, it dropped down to 4,300 fine, so. Um, Ma, did, did, did you vanish? Sir. Sir. You were here and now you're gone. Where did your plane go, sir? You slowed down some. Um, you're not showing his out front, though. You're not actually showing his out front. Oh, oh, wow, you're way over there now. Okay. Okay. Why am I descending down a... Okay, so apparently this is broken too? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take manual for a moment here. I'm gonna disengage autopilot. Re-engage. Okay. I'm gonna turn that off.
Okay, let's see if that works now. Should set for 43. And flying bank on. But as soon as you put on autopilot, it starts doing weird shit. Which I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty unusual. That is really unusual. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm Cascade Overload. This is the grid. Today is stream number one of 84 streams around the around the world. Or around the world in 84 streams, however you want to look at it. Uh, we're currently on leg number two. You're with AP on, you get that bank. That's really weird that you're getting that with the uh, autopilot on, though. Uh, so this current uh, this current route, we're heading to Shefferville, otherwise referred to uh, in certain circles as Squaw Lake. Um. That'll be our stopping point for today. Tomorrow we will pick up from Squaw Lake and we'll be taking off from there and heading to Frobisher Bay before we make the hop across the North Atlantic to Greenland. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit longer stream as well. I'm, I do actually have uh, plans to be on sooner to get a little bit more flying done. Uh, but that being said, it's been a little bit since I've uh, <clears throat> Grab the brake. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to stretch my legs. I'm going to go let the dog out. And I will catch you all back here in a few moments. I'm going to leave you hanging out with this beautiful view at about 4,300 feet. Give or take. Uh, hopefully autopilot doesn't smack us into something. And I'll see you all in a few minutes. I'm actually going to just turn the camera off and the microphone off. And uh, I'll see you in a few.
All right, all right. Enough of the shenanigans already. What's going on here? What's your name, scumbag? How we doing so far? How's it looking? I don't even see the boys anymore. They're like way ahead of me. They like, boom, out right in front. All right, we're 183 nautical miles out on our second leg. Ah, okay, I see, I see. I see where you guys are. Wow, I am way off course. Good Lord, man. Oof, I'm way off course, Bert. <laughs> I took them out with my Gal 8. <laughs> and a tingle, Bert. <laughs> oh, I bet I know what it is. Hold on. Let's turn the floodlights off, shall we? Those are off. Okay, those floods are off too. Good. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. I went on manual. Let's just say if I had passengers, they would have needed air sick bags. Oof. Ooh. Yeah, I'm way off course here. Oof. Let's see if we can fix that. That's a little, uh, that's a little rough, guys. Are you kidding? What's what altitude are you currently flying at, TVL? Because I know I'm set for 4,300. And I don't know why it seems to be stuck at 42, but whatever. I'll leave it. You know what? We're going to set for 3,500, I think. See how that goes. We'll see how that goes. I was hand flying the plane. Took it to <laughs> back holding 3,900. Yeah, I'm dropping down to uh, 35. I'm going to drop down to 3,500. Okay, so we're slowly dropping down to 35. Slow but sure. Uh, let's... Let's bank to a heading of 075 degrees. Get ourselves a little bit more, a uh, little bit more back on course here. All right, we'll do minus 300. 173 nautical out, not hand flying that. Yeah, no. Hand flying's great for like, you know, 100 nautical miles, 200, even 200 sometimes if you're just doing short hops, but. Yeah, we're 173 out. I see you boys off my starboard wing. All right, we're still descending through 3,700. All right, all right, all right. Folks, if you are just joining us, welcome. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. There may be truth to that. We haven't determined yet. I'll let, I'll let the community, you know, I'll let the community say if, uh, if we have or not. 
<laughs> uh, I'm still not mag. Why? Are what do you mean you're not magnetic? <laughs> hey, sire, how are you doing? Could be better, could be wor far worse. You got the jab, oh, you got the jab. And you didn't, you didn't gain any superpowers out of it? Man, that's, that's disappointing. Super disappointing. All right, ATC still clear. Um, We're gonna switch over to left tank, or right tank here shortly in a few moments. Hyperventil- wait, what? Aw, oh, dude. That's no good, man. How- okay. How did that happen? Like, uh, my my oldest daughter suffers from uh, extreme panic attacks. The one thing that we didn't have- we didn't actually have a problem was with- with- was when she got her needle. When she got jabbed. She, like, nothing. Didn't even phase her. And she complained the following day about a little bit of a, you know, a sore arm, but other than that. Oh, okay. You know what? I understand. That makes a lot of sense then. I know there are a lot of people who, you know, they're petrified of needles, right? So I totally get that. Okay, so let's bring this back around to a heading of... Do, uh, yeah, we'll bring it around to 070 degrees. Gradoon, zero, yes, US East. Um, exclamation plan. It actually will show the flight plan that I, I currently have set up through Sky Vector. Um, and if you want the information, exclamation route will show you the leg that we're currently on. I can recommend otherwise microdosing LSD or shrooms, but no, not going to talk about that when it's about, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, CBD, well, CBD is also an option that is open to her legally, so. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's like sh to the point where you almost, like, you have to take her to the hospital and get a mask on her, right? So. I wonder if the AP on this plane, it, the, well, autopilot in general, in <laughs> flight sim can be a little buggy. It, everybody has a different experience. But my first jab was painless. I would have felt nothing at all if you had not bumped me with the knee. Oh, Jesus. Grobzilla. Oh, oh. Oh, hell no. Yeah, that is definitely an oh, hell no. Nope. Yeah, I'm, I, needles don't bother me. I mean, obviously, I, like, I have ink, right? So if you guys can, needles don't really uh, bother me at all. I mean, I watched them when they did the... I was awake, and I watched them. I had them turn a mirror around so I could watch them do the surgery on my arm, like, years ago. And the doctor... Like, the two surgeons that were working on me just kind of looked at me like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I want to I see what you guys are doing. Like, yo, throw a mirror over. I want to see what you guys are doing in my arm. And they're like, okay. <laughs> I can hear them. Are you sure he's not high? <laughs> I'm like, you guys only put a local in. I'm good. Let, like, come on, let's go. I want to see. I want to watch you guys operate on my arm. I laid there for the entire hour and a half while they had my arm wide open. Freaking everything splayed out where they were trying to fix the tendons and the muscles and shit. It freaked the, it freaked the poor surgeon out. He was just like, uh, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? Surprise, motherfucker. Her name is Golden Girl 
2K17, and this is her story. His dad's got to get in here now. Dad has to get in here now. That's it. That's it. They're coming for you, GG. FBI, open up! They're coming for you. Let's bring this around to 066 degrees. Get ourselves back on course. All right, it is pretty hilly in around here. Like, I'm noticing some definite uh, scenery popping up on our way to Squaw Lake. Oh, you got the Johnson & Johnson? Nice. Yeah, I'm. we've got to actually set up for our second in another week or so. I'm going to have to set the appointment so an off, like the entire family can get in and get our second dose. Yeah, with this scenery popping up, you know what? Uh, uh, let's set... Let's increase Barrow. Um, I'm going to set Altitude. Oh, that's way too high. 60, no. All right, I'm going to set altitude to 4,500, 300 FPM. Yeah, I figured I'm climbing back. I'm with, with some of this terrain coming up, I'm like, yo, I'm popping up to 45 F this. I do not want to be running into shit. It's getting a little it's getting a little hilly in this in these here parts so uh altimeter 2977 Yeah, I think I'm going to set for 2981 on the bar on uh, the altimeter. Thinking back to last year, I was so afraid. I yeah, no. Yeah, I listen. Seriously, like being afraid of needles is no joke. There are so many people who are terrified of that shit. And I can understand why. Like it's not something that's super fun. You got Griff back there. Ma, Ma, you're lagging behind, son. Sir, you're lagging behind, Ma. Well, folks, if you are just joining us, welcome. This is the first of 84 streams as we tour the world. If you're interested in checking out the flight plan that I uh, set up for for doing this entire uh, world adventure, exclamation plan will provide you with a link. Yet yeah, TVL's out ahead. Pause back. Oh, there's Griff eight zero 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 F. What aircraft is he flying? Is that that's an A320? <laughs> Come on, that's no way to see the world. <laughs> Welcome back, Tom. Had surgery on my back when I was 10, five times, adult dose anesthesia, felt every bit. Okay, you know what? I can respect why you've got a problem with needles. That makes a lot of sense. It legit does. Like I've had mul ever since childhood, I've had multiple surgeries on my right knee. I mean, so I I can 100% get where you're at there. Oh shit. Did somebody just somebody just ate the ground? I saw that. I saw that. That man's hit the turf hard. <laughs> no, I know. A320 flying at this altitude must be burning through. Yo. 
This is, listen, do you understand how difficult it's going to be to get search and rescue out here to find you or possibly any survivors? That's going to be rough, man. Get, getting S, getting, getting SAR out here is going to be hard. Yeah, no, you'll burn through fuel at lower altitudes in one of those A320s. Like, it'll, it'll be sucking it back like a thirsty bitch. Just like... <laughs> She's going to be a thirsty girl. It's true, though, and jet, en jet engines really aren't efficient at low altitude. That's why they burn so much when you're doing takeoff and landing with them. That's why I went with, you know, this setup with the with the Beechcraft. I love root beer floats. Are you kidding me? Root, root beer floats are the best. Yeah, 137 nautical miles out. Let me see if this is working. 47 minutes. Listen, I have a feeling that that's incorrect. I mean, I'm I'm just going to say. It says 45, but I really don't think that's... That doesn't feel right. It's like I'm coming in. All right, we got a little bit of low-level cloud. It's still beautiful out here, though. The wind's a little choppy, though. We got a little bit of... Griff, 8,000 out. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. Appreciate the follow, my man. You currently receive marker beacon, receiver audio, play play of the clearance recording. Oh, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. Next time I fly, I'm gonna use a different plane to see if this uh, if this issue I have with the constant 10 degree bank continues. That's probably not a bad idea. You should try whipped cream flavor vodka with A and W root beer. Yeah, generally if I do a root beer, if I do like a traditional root beer float, I'm not adding alcohol. <laughs> If I want to drink alcohol, I'm going to drink the alcohol, but I am not adding it to a root beer float. <laughs> no way, no how, not happening. <laughs> nope. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. All right, 130 nautical out. Griff. That plane has got to be sucking fuel back like it's going out of style. You know what? You know what I can't wait for? A. Hey, I cannot wait for July 27th and Sim Update 5. I'm looking forward to some of the enhancements that they're going to be adding in just before the Xbox release. Two. November cannot get here fast enough for the free DLC. Based around Top Gun Maverick. Holy crap, let's go. Giggity. Shadier Snail, 1984. Digging the name. <laughs> Listen, I'll give you this. You got some you got some uh, you got some skills with the stick there. All right, looks like we've cleared some of that uh, low-hanging uh, garbage back there. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna set Barometric pressure to two nine uh, two nine decimal nine two. 
Uh, let's see if I... I'm going to correct heading. 064 degrees. Bring us back a little closer on track. I'm waiting for the... Oh my god. That's actually terrifying to watch. Watch that terrain! 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 500. <laughs> God, that big girl. That, listen. The A320, while a beautiful aircraft, is not the most acrobatic aircraft available to you in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Not even close. All right, let's see what we got going on here. According to this, we're still 40 minutes out, but I'm... I'm not really buying that. Not at 122 nautical miles out from our uh, our landing point. So I feel like some of the information is slightly faulty. I mean, I'm not. Listen, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a big fan of the larger aircraft like the A320 or the 787 things like that. But they are beautiful aircraft. I don't particularly enjoy flying them. I prefer the smaller. I'm a GA flyer. Like I'm I am through and through a GA pilot. I love the smaller aircraft. But yeah, the uh Oh, thank you. Oh, awesome. So the bin was open where you dropped them off? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so they don't have that thing open anymore to drop do after hours drop offs anymore? Ooh. Yeah, just throw it on the desk go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I see we got ourselves a couple of we got a, ourselves a couple of uh, flyboys. All right, looks like we got a little bit of low-level cloud that we're coming into. Cruising altitude is still 45. We're we're maintaining 4,500 pretty easily. Heading of 065 degrees. And we are now 116 nautical miles out from Squaw Lake. Cruising speed of 165 knots. And I'm actually surprised we haven't got Shefferville, uh, Shefferville on the phone, uh, on the uh, on the horn so far. Considering, let's see if we can pull them up. Nearest airport. Wow, that's because there is legit nothing nearby us. So we'll just stick with um, Montreal Control for the time being. Montreal Center. I can't believe that is literally the only airport close by is CCP6. Holy shit. You know you're in the middle of nowhere when. All right, hopefully I get this correct. I'm terrible with names, so if I mispronounce something, it's okay. Correct me. Watabanumak. Watabanum. Watabunum Bunmok. Watabunmok. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. I'm terrible with names. If I mispronounce it, it's okay. You can correct me. GR Dune Zero, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. Yeah, my face, right? The face that I'm making when I'm trying to pronounce names sometimes. And I don't mean to butcher them. I'm terrible with them. And I admit it. And I don't do it on purpose. I legit try to get the name right. And if I mispronounce it, it is okay to correct me. I will not get salty about it. It's okay. All right, 111 nautical mile out. Now, normally, I'm not... Normally, I'm a hands-on flyer as well. That's the other thing. I don't normally rely on autopilot a whole lot. Um, but I figured for this... AP was probably the best bet. 
just to make life a little bit easier. Because otherwise, ooh, that is a lot of hand on stick motion, if you know what I mean. Oh my. Why do you look like you're sunburned? How? There was no sun over the weekend. Oh, I am very aware of how UV works, yes. Let's just face it, your skin is just too fair and you're lucky that you don't burst into flame every time you go outside. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to my oldest daughter, so. How is the chiropractor? All right, that's good. You feel... Listen, you are only 15 and your body should not make the sounds it makes, okay? Yeah, you sound like you've got the skeletal structure of a 120-year-old woman. More lakes coming up. Yeah, I'm seeing that. This entire region is really beautiful for this. These small lakes all over the place are just insane. How's our fuel doing, by the way? You know what? Let's uh, <clears throat> switch over to right tank. That'd be a great idea. Considering the left tank is about half full, so yeah, I think this is about a good time to switch. <laughs> I love how it still gives us a bearing of six, uh, 0 0.67 degrees, but 0 0.65 seems a little more on point, but I'm going to pop that over to 6.6. What do we got going on here so far? There is a lot of just nothing underneath us but forest in, in territory. Like, there is nothing happening down here. There's those lakes off to the right. Actually, we're about to fly right over top of some of these lakes. This is some beautiful country to fly over though, but holy crap, this is a hell of a flight. We are uh, <clears throat> definitely logging some nautical miles here, okay? By the way, I have to thank the uh, flight staff for the coffee. Appreciate it. Do not question how the pilot just got a fresh hot cup of Tim Hortons coffee, two cream, one sugar. Don't ask. Don't. <laughs> it's called magic. All right, let's bring this around to six, seven. Puts this on track. Try Alaska to rush lots of water over the Aleutians. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to be flying that leg. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than we think. Uh, I think the real, the real, the real treat is going to be the flight up to Frobisher Bay tomorrow. So taking off from Squaw Lake, uh, landing in Frobisher. So we're going to be doing our, our layover tonight in Squaw Lake at Shefferville. And then tomorrow we're going to continue on from Shefferville. We're going to we're going to fly north to Frobisher Bay uh, or Inquilet, depending on how you want to what you want to call it or how you want to say it. And then from there, we're going to be taking the flight across um, to Greenland, which is going to be some sheet. Would be Russia to Alaska via the Aleutians, I think. Yeah, it's if you look at the actual route that I already have set up, that's pretty much the route that we're taking. We're we're island hopping across the Aleutians. All right, we're 96 nautical miles out. Still maintaining 4,500. This is beautiful, and then you see the water glitches. <laughs> This still bothers me, the terrain data sometimes. 
Shadier Snail, well, welcome. Where are our boys? There's Ma. TVL's up ahead. I'm looking up above us here to see if we got... We don't have anybody else, but... Hey. You know what? The weather started out pretty questionable at the very start of this, uh, this entire flight. And just so you are all aware, I do fly with live. Everything is live. Um, so the weather, the weather, everything is, I've got it set live across the board, um, just to give us the most realistic overall experience possible. All right, there we go. Montreal center, Flynn, 174,500 feet. Flynn 17 Montreal Center Altimeter 29 Decimal 9 8 continue as planned. Alright, so we're gonna just to 298 or 29 or decimal 98. Alright. I'm surprised that we're still uh, communicating with uh, Montreal Center at this point. Yeah, that 10 degree bank is weird. Um, something else I might recommend to you, TVL, is um, after all is said and done, um, look at the calibration on it. Check the calibration on the stick and the flight controls just to see if maybe it's something a little wonky with the with that. Because sometimes if the stick isn't calibrated, you can't throw off uh, autopilot. That's something that I learned a while back. So I made sure that I took the time to go through the Windows calibration tool and just calibrate everything just to just to make sure it was good. And that seemed to fix a couple of little a little thing, a few little things anyway. How close are we anyway? 88 nautical mile. 88 nautical, nautical mile out. I'm gonna bring that back around to uh, 066 degrees. Hey, Ma. Ma off the, the port wing there. You're 82 out. Yeah, so you're about you're you're about four not four ahead of us. You're about four mile ahead of us. It's not bad. All right. One thing I do need to do really quick here. Um, no, not active pause. No, 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 no. Uh, and definitely not custom toolbar. Okay. I got to do this really quick. As I pause really quickly, it's like, oh, triggered my immersion. I'll drop that down to 30. Line save. Okay, resume. Ooh. That was sketchy. Oh, look, I'm getting a little, no, there we go. We're fine. Uh, possibly, maybe, question mark? Now, TVL, another thing, another thing I'm going to ask, how uh, frequently do you switch your tanks around? Like, do you, how often do you switch between, like, right tank, left tank? Oh, you have unlimited fuel on. Oh, <laughs> cheater. Cheater. He's like, oh, listen, I'm not messing with fuel. Screw this crap.
I mean, I don't blame you. Let's see if I just get this to bank on its own just a bit here. Yeah, because I've got this weird little uh, thing going on now, too. I'm like, wait a minute. It does seem a little weird. Because mine just started doing that, too. I'm going to drop the barometric pressure. Uh, I'm going to drop the barrow down to 29.94. Seems to... It would be weird. Whoa! What the heck was that? Dude, where's that wind coming from? Holy shit. Freaking direction is the wind coming from? That is nasty. I don't know what the hell just hit the tail end of the aircraft, but all of a sudden it was boosh. <laughs> I have no idea what that was, but apparently something was not playing well with the rear the tail end of the aircraft. All right, 74 nautical miles out. All right, so we are coming. We are coming up to the uh, the last 72 uh, 72 miles of the trip. Leg one of our world tour. I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit more interesting because we're going to be flying. We're going to be heading north up past the Arctic Circle towards Frobisher Bay to then check across uh, the northern Atlantic sort of Arctic region to Greenland. Whew. That's going to be a bit of a flight. But the whole, the whole hope is that we're going to actually be able to touch down in Greenland by the end of stream tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be a little bit longer. I'm going to start a little bit earlier because I would like to get, I want to get as many, as many miles under the, under the wings as we can. Leading into uh, being able to get across and fly over uh, the, 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 a very large portion of Europe. And then head down towards Africa. We're going to be getting going completely around down the entire west coast of Africa, down around through Cape Town, and then back up the uh, the eastern coast of of Africa. So it's it's going to be a bit of a tour. We got some work ahead of us. We've got some we've got a lot of a lot of miles to put under the wings here. But considering we've already flown almost 1,000 nautical miles today, uh, 514 to 320, to be exact. So not quite, not quite. Listen, that might might have been a bit of a stretch, but just shy of just shy of 900 nautical miles. If you include all the uh, all, all the crap at the very beginning, where autopilot decided to crash the aircraft, like not even five minutes after takeoff from uh, Billy Bishop Airport in Toronto. That was fun. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this.
I mean, this game really is beautiful, though. Sorry, it's not technically a game. It is a simulator, and it's gorgeous. Facts. And hopefully, all of you who have joined along for the, the first chunk of the tour have enjoyed your time here. Appreciate the heck out of all of you for coming by and checking it out. Now, here's the problem. It kind of makes me look, think that there is ice down there, but I know that that's not actually ice. <laughs> that's not ice. Definitely not ice. Oh. Golden Girl's got to get in here, huh? I feel like we... Listen, somebody's got to win. And it's gonna be dad, okay? It's gonna be dad. Twitch dad's winning. What's your name, scumbag? What are we down to? What are we down to? Last 62 nautical miles. All right, I feel like it's time to... Uh, we're gonna drop that down to... 29.92 uh, I'm going to decrease oh not that much that's that's a bit much I'm gonna drop down to about 4,000 Bring it back around to 066 degrees. All right, so we're going to descend down to 4,000 feet. Listen, we got the, we figured out what the problem was. It was the Garmin G1000 and the G3000 mods along with the uh, Bonanza G36 uh, community uh, update, which is, it's just a mod that enhances, supposed to enhance things, but it, it seems every time I try to use those three, it breaks shit. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Listen, I'm just gonna remove them. We start restarting Microsoft Flight Sim, everything's been fine since. <laughs> it's been fine since. <laughs> So what we got for oh there we go uh Shefferville. uh let's go for runway 35 Charlie Yankee Kilo Lima traffic Flynn 1757 miles southwest 4200 feet inbound to land runway 35 there we go all right close enough to dial in Shefferville. 55 nautical miles, descending now to 4,000 feet. <laughs> God, it's beautiful out here, though. Personally, I've found that one of the reasons why I've been really drawn to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 is actually, and t -Vale, good win, by the way, is, and, oh, by the way. What's your name, scumbag? <laughs> but, uh, it's because it gives the, it gives the normal person the ability to actually travel around the world one-to-one -one scale, real time, and see locations that you might not normally be able to see. And it, I really appreciate having that ability. It's one of those things that I've always, I've always felt that seems really lacking from a lot of other simulators. You don't have that one-to-one -one scale sort of size, right? Now, that being said, racing simulators, you have one-to-one -one scale, but you're dealing on a singular track with a couple of cars and people racing against each other, right? So, you know, such as iRacing, pretty much all this stuff is relatively one-to-one -one scale. But you're dealing on a very limited limited size because you're dealing with a track. Um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. 
Uh, the map feels massive, but it's a, a 119 scale. Now, to be fair, for the trucking simulator side of it, there is no way in hell. Not a chance. I would want to actually have that as one-to-one -one scale. First and foremost, the amount of data that would be required to be loaded on your PC for that to actually function would be absurd. The only way that that would actually work properly is doing the same thing that Microsoft does and Microsoft and Asobo have done and utilizing Black Shark AI to do the map, uh, like the mapping data and everything by having massive cloud servers handle the data. Because that would be the only way you could really do it, right? And that's why if anybody who's familiar with Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, you've probably found you have to have a rolling cache. And what that rolling cache is, is it's pulling in mapping it, map information, weather data and all of that in from the, the cloud to then put everything up on the screen for you. Lopez GBZ, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. I would, one thing I would like to see, because I am a big fan of the trucking simulators as well, as well as racing, um, with American Truck and Euro Truck Simulator 2, I would like to see SCS possibly slightly alter the scale of the map and take it to, say, a 1 15th scale map so that would give you a little bit more space, give you more drivability, it would give you the opportunity to add a little bit more detailing on the maps, but again, not feel so massive that, you know, you're driving one load for eight and a half hours, right? Uh, yeah, so I'm currently 45 nautical miles out. So if you're 44, you're, you're, you're one, one NM ahead of me. So that's not too bad. All right, let's bring this back around to, let's bring this around to 068 degrees. Should put us on course for Shefferville. Charlie Yankee Kilo Lima traffic Flynn 1744 miles southwest 4000 feet in Mount to land runway 35. All right. Here we go. Position announced. This really has been a gorgeous flight, though. Like it, again, it started pretty questionable only because. A autopilot crashing us out, swapped a couple of things around, changed a few things, fixed that problem, and then some of the weather coming into our first leg. Uh, this is our second second hop. So our first stop was at, uh, was it uh, C CRT2? <laughs> you just mooned me. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Ma. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, hell bad Ma is bad. Uh, the weather was a little crap going through through some of the some of the rain that was uh, slightly questionable. <clears throat> but this leg of the trip uh, up to Shefferville has been uh, really beautiful. Like other than a little, we've we've taken a little bit of um, you know crosswind and everything. But other than that, not my plane, not me personal. My plane, not me personal. Listen, listen. I don't care if it's you personally or the plane. Don't waggle that booty. Don't be mooning me, sir. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Hello, Doge. I'm sure the dog is like, dude, let's just go. I need to eat. Dog will get fed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Dog, listen, the dog does not want for much. He's got a comfy bed to sleep in. He gets fed twice a day, he gets pets, he gets snuggles. He's not going to be too happy tonight because we've got to trim his nails and he hates that crap. That's going to be fun. Well, this daughter's got to hold him and I've got to trim his nails because she won't trim his nails. She's afraid she's going to hurt him. <laughs> hey, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We are 36 nautical miles or almost 36 out. Yeah, I'm noticing that the train's leveled out pretty good. I'm actually going to make, uh, I'm going to actually, I think, descend down through to 3,000. Uh, maybe 2,000 might be a bit much. 
All right, 3,000. All right, we got our descent going. Still, man, still maintaining a uh, pretty decent pace here so far. Why is the right tank not? F Excuse me? Question mark? <laughs> How much fuel have I got? Listen. We're down to 57% fuel, but it doesn't look like the right tank's been emptying out, even though it's been switched over to the right tank for like the last hour. What the actual heck? I think it might have bugged. Omega 38, does Microsoft Flight Sim save the progress of previous flight for a pl flight plan like this? Um, because I'm only doing individual chunks, uh, as far as I know, it doesn't. You cheated, you had to fuel in flight. I'm super disappointed, Ma. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't, but there are programs that allow you to create a flight plan, which then also saves your progress, which you can, um, through Sim Connect, input that information. So as long as you're using a third-party program like Sim Toolkit Pro and things like that, um, Navigraph, I do believe, is another one. Uh, what else? There's... What is the other one? Uh, Simbrief. Simbrief is, uh, I do believe, another one that allows you to do that as well. All right, looks like the estimated time should be about 10 minutes. So yeah, if you're doing flight planning, you can use a pro, like, Right now, I'm actually, my flight plan is already set, but like if you wanna, you can get in in depth as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on what you're, what you're doing. So like I know with, um, with the program that I'm currently using, which is uh, Sim Toolkit Pro, like you can, you can type in your, uh, your location ICAO, you can get your checklists, for the aircraft that you're flying, things like that. You can do your wind calculator for, like, for landing. Um, you can do, like, manual imports. And here's the other thing, too. So, Volanta, you can actually import data from other programs into Sim Toolkit Pro to use in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Actually, speaking of which, I want that up on the other screen. Uh... Let's put that back up on my flight summary. It's still pretty. Can't can't deny. She's still uh she's still very pretty up here. 23 nautical miles out. Alright, let's bring this around to seven seven two zero. Or sorry, seven zero seven two degrees. Holy crap. Words are hard. Ten nautical, nice. See, so yeah, I'm I'm really happy about how uh, our first our first chunk of the tour is gone so far. Super happy about this. We're almost down. Yeah, so we've descended past thirty one hundred. Almost at 3,000. We're getting a little bit, of, as you guys can see, we're getting a little bit of chop. Now it's position. Charlie Yankee Kilo Lima traffic, Flynn 1721 miles southwest, 3,000 feet inbound to land runway 35.
All right, so we're we're coming in for runway three five. Yeah, oh, you can? Ma, I'm gonna actually have to look into that. I did not know that, had I known that, holy crap, I would have just done the entire flight. Like, I would have done the initial planning through Sky Vector, but I would have just then input that. My name in SL is Yuri Ashton. Yuri? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> My own TVL is out ahead. He's probably already. Ah, uh, no, I do not. Got a little, listen, she's getting a little. We're getting a little hilly around here, by the way. I'm noticing some stuff jutting up a little bit closer to the aircraft than I'm comfortable with, even at 3,000 feet. Uh, no, I am not familiar with the name. Uh, so when we're doing the hop up towards Frobisher Bay, I'm going to try to maintain about a 3,000 foot ceiling on that one, um, just to keep the aircraft up a little bit higher. Uh, probably a lot less fuel burn that way, sort of maintain 5,000. Uh, when we're doing the uh, the hop from Frobisher Bay across into Greenland, though, um, that one I'm probably going to set for about 8,000, maybe between eight and 9,000. There's Ma right there. Hello, Ma. I see you. Okay, I'm going to actually cut slightly back on the throttle. Just a hair back. Okay, we are burning fuel. It's just, for whatever reason, it doesn't look like it's burning fuel from the right tank. So that's got to be, that's got to be a bug. That has to be a bug. Because there is no flipping way otherwise. All right, 12 nautical miles out. Uh, but De Reuter, no, I don't, I don't recognize the name at all. Hey, Ma, I see you. I see you. Are you still flying the caravan? Or did you switch out for a different aircraft, Ma? All right, we're at 10.3. Charlie, Yankee, Kilo, Lima, traffic, Flynn, 1711 one miles southwest, 3,000 feet inbound to land runway tree five. You're still in the caravan. How are you? Uh, how are you enjoying the the handling of the caravan? Like, I actually find the caravan is is a pretty solid aircraft, but it can be a little touchy at times. It's got attitude. The car the the uh, the two hundred eight B's got some attitude. Yeah, exactly. He handles like a bus. That sounds about right. A bus with its landing gear permanently down. All right, we're going to uh, disengage autopilot. Manual control. about 2% 2% to the trim cut back on throttle just a wee bit actually I want to drop no 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 I want to drop that down to about minus one there we go 
All right, there's Shefferville. All right, let's do our let's do our pass over. See what we got going on here. Yeah, I see. I see Tville. I see you on the ground there, sir. Okay, let's prep for this. Drop throttle, cut throttle back a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, flaps to landing. Edward Junior 26, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the grid. Yeah, I trust me, I know trees are bad, okay? I got that. Gear down. Well, I'll be better when we get on the ground at in uh, Shefferville here <laughs> for our second leg of our uh, world tour, which is just about to wrap up for the fir uh, for day one. It's around the world in 84 streams. And this is stream number one. <clears throat> we all, listen, I love trees and all, but I got limits, okay? They stop carbon. Thanks, Gib. Ooh, she's gonna be dicey. There we go, posture check. They stop carbon in planes. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to land in the trees here, bud. Not this time. I knew I should have changed the freaking altimeter. God damn it. There's a Petrius system place. Remember what we talked about? Shoot just before he's landing. De Reuter? I swear to God, sir. A little bit of a bounce there. Not too bad, though. Much cleaner landing than we had at uh, Tremiscami. Much better landing. Holy crap. Butter, right? Omega. Exactly. That was the butter right there. That was actually really good. I'm happy with that landing. Good lord. Bring me the butter. How does chat feel about karma and bullies on TikTok? This sweet little innocent handicapped girl. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Whoever's bullying her will get theirs. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. All right, let's. <laughs> Ma's like, yo, I'm going to cut the grass. All 
All right, let's announce clear time, clear runway. Charlie Yankee Kilo Lima traffic Flynn one seven is clear of the runway. Do we even have ground services here? That's the real question. Charlie Yankee Kilo Lima traffic Flynn one seven is clear of the runway. Charlie Yankee Kilo Why are you st stop it? Stop it! Clear of the runway. She won't stop talking. <laughs> Listen, I will park where in the hell I want to, sir. That was Ma. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, let's get this bird set for shutdown. Okay, done. Okay, locked. RPM control down. Extra control down. All right, there we go. Close shut off valve. There we go. Woo. All right, turn off landing lights. Turn off panel lights. Nav lights. Okay. Avionics master. Boom, done. There we go. There we go, CYTZ to CYKL. Total flight time, Poof. four hours, 53 minutes and 28 seconds. Damn. <laughs> so we started at Billy Bishop Airport. ATC sounds like my mom never shuts up. Listen, listen, listen. ATC's got a job to do. They perform a function. It's very important, especially for the safety of passengers and pilots everywhere. Okay. Okay. God damn it. My first auto bot, <laughs> auto bot block. God damn it. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all good. Um, but yeah, so we started at Billy Bishop airport. We are now officially, we're, we're, we're doing our layover for tonight in Shefferville. We're starting from here tomorrow. Shefferville will be flying up to Frobisher Bay. And from Frobisher Bay, we're going to be hopping across the Northern expanse of the Atlantic to Greenland. So, uh, so far, so the trip today took us, f total flight time was four hours and 53 minutes. So almost five hours total trip time. Whew. That's something. That's something. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, we will be back tomorrow. I'm going to drop this back out to the menu. I'm definitely not restarting. I like that restart. Hell no. We're not restarting this, but chat. I want to say thank you to all of you for being here and being part of the show today. Do truly appreciate it. Thank you so very, very much to all of you who came and hung out with us for our first ever around the world in 84 streams. We did two lakes today. Uh, no, I'm going to try. We're going to try for two tomorrow. I'm going to try to make it across to Greenland by tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be slightly longer. I'm going to get an earlier start to stream tomorrow. Uh, because I would like to get across to Greenland before we call it for tomorrow. Um, trust me, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an amazing flight. Uh, so first part tomorrow is taking off here from Shefferville and we're going to be flying north to Frobisher Bay. And then from Frobisher Bay, we are going to be taking a hop across to Greenland. Uh, now here's the thing. If anybody wants to follow along or you get somebody, um, is feeling ambitious and wants to try this for themselves, exclamation plan provides you a link to sky vector. We'll provide you with the flight plan that I set up to actually do this on, on, on Twitch. So if you want to fly along, you want to join in, you want to see where we are, take a gander at that. It's free for everyone to check out. I will be back tomorrow. It's going to be shenanigans. I know it will because guaranteed first thing in the morning, something's going to happen. The plane's going to explode on takeoff. I just listen. 
It's how it started today. The rest of the day was fantastic, but that first initial takeoff, something's got to explode. As long as it does that, it's good luck the rest of the day, right? Anyways, chat, thank you so very, very much for the follows, the subs, the resubs, the gifted subs, the bits, the tips, and the donations up above to stackup.org. Stack up, exclamation stack up. If you don't know what the organization is, if you're not already familiar, please go check out the site. Uh, they are a military military organization, but they are a military and veterans support organization that provides support through gaming by bringing the civilian and the military community together. They provide support for operational stress, PTSD, anxiety. Um, and they also have a fantastic crew that has a 24 hour suicide hotline. So if you're feeling that low, you're in that dark place, which uh, my personal experience, I have a lot of friends who are ex-military. I have a lot of friends who are actually still currently active duty as well. And sometimes shit gets hard, right? So. How much did you fly yourself without help? Uh, the takeoffs and landings, everything else was all autopilot. I'm not normally an autopilot guy, but it was a thing. But yeah, so if you are uh, one of those individuals who are suffering through PTSD, anxiety, operational stress, please go check out Stack Up. They might actually be able to do some help for you as well. Anyways, I didn't cheat. I did exactly what normal pilots would do. Don't even... A chat. Until tomorrow, peace. Be good to each other. I'm Cascade Overload. This is The Grid. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm out of here until tomorrow. By the way, on the way out, I am going to see who I can raid and or host. And I would greatly appreciate it if you show the next incoming content creators much love. As you've shown us here on The Grid today, I love your faces. I love your butts. And we will continue this tomorrow, chat. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.